coverage from these Ford Worlds, and it's the final broadcast of a very long season. More than that's the greatest number of hours ever, and some of the folks, David, Richard, Andy, who have all been part of it right from the very first stone. And because of you, we have had our largest audiences ever, and to you we say thank you. Coming up in our final game. It's the women's semifinal as Canada's Kathy Borst goes against the two-time world champion Elizabeth Gustafsson. And so now for the uh, final time, Andy, would you uh, dissolve through to Lyndon Ray, please? Sure, Ray. Well, Vic, we certainly do thank all of the crew. Ray and I are so passionate about the sport, and they make every game the best it can be. And we work with the very best in our country, and they've been fantastic. They've helped us all along, and it's just been a wonderful season. This is a what a way to finish the season, right. Kathy Borst. You know, Linda, I really feel we'll see the Kathy Borst that we saw in Regina. When she made that outturn hit against Andrea Schopp to qualify, I believe in my heart that all the pressure was taken off. Canada only once before has never qualified. And I think this week, Kathy felt that a little bit, felt the pressure on her. I think we'll see the old Kathy. I think this should be a great game. Well, she is going up against a very tough opponent. This is the kind of game where you look at the intangibles, the things about the teams beyond shot making, they're great teams. And with Sweden, to me, the intangible is their determination to win. No matter what event they've been in, they've medaled. They have done so well. They are winners. First world title was their first year at a world championship, 1992. Three European titles and, of course, the bronze at Nagano. So they're a great team. When we look back at that game and round robin play, it really was the skip battle that we looked at, and it may be again today. It was Elizabeth Gustafsson with a 90% game out shooting Kathy Borst. Overall, you see Kathy has an edge in round robin, but in the big game, it's the question what team will come through under the pressure? Vic? Kathy. Borst, Heather Godbertson in the middle, Brenda Bulmer. Some final words with Kate Horn, their lead, their coach, Daryl Horn, and fifth player, Rona McGregor. Prior to playing Sweden here in this semifinal, just a reminder, keep up to date on the World Wide Web. Score standings, our season of champions, comes to a close tomorrow at the women's final, and you can get all the information you need to know. Our web address, www.tsn.ca slash curling. When we come back, Canada, Sweden, the women's semi. We'll also keep an eye, of course, on Denmark, Norway. It's the Ford Worlds on TSN. For real. The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by... Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, seeing beyond. By Labatt, good things brewing. And by Simonize Car Care Products. If you care, Simonize it. Glad you're with us here at the Riverside Coliseum in the middle of this Easter weekend, and hopefully it's going well for you. Women's semifinal, Canada, Sweden, about to get started on sheet B. Let's read the ice now, brought to you by Canadian Airlines. They've done a wonderful job. Our thanks as well to Hans Wittrich and BJ Gagnon, the ice makers, right? Well, they have done a great job, Vic. It's been tricky ice, but very good ice. The curl around the centers, about four feet both sides. No problem getting around the guards, especially at the start of the game. Around the corners, about five feet plus. Really moves out there. However, there definitely will be frost. It'll sneak in on both sides of the sheet. And you have to be careful when you go out there. What happens is, as the heat comes down, like this, like this, it pushes the frost out a little bit. And what happens to the ice in the area, the forefoot area, it straightens up. So it will change a little bit as the game progresses and you have to be careful. But that makes for interesting curling and both skips are gonna to have to be alert. I like what I see tonight. Canadian team taking their final warm up slides. As we meet these two teams representing Canada and Sweden. Throwing the lead stones for Sweden is Elizabeth Pearson, Kate Horn for Canada. The seconds, Louise Marmont and Brenda Bomer. Throwing the third stones, Katharina Nyberg and Heather Godberson. And the two skips, the two-time world champion, Elizabeth Gustafsson, the Umea Curling Club in Sweden, 
And from the Otwell Curling Club in Edmonton, the Scott Turnon of Hearts winner, Canadian champion, Kathy Borst. Well, I really like what I see out there tonight, uh, Linda, and Kathy in particular. I mentioned it briefly in my opening comments. I really think the pressure's off. They were out on the ice, and they were fooling with the crowd a little bit before the game started, and I think that they're really ready to go. And I think this, this week, uh, I don't know how you feel, but uh, uh, they've been a little tentative at times, and, and uh, they've let maybe the ice uh, confuse them a bit, and maybe some stones on one of the sheets. And, and it just I just think they feel so good about this game. And I really think, Elizabeth, we know what a champion she is. We know what a champion she is on the ice, and we know what a champion she is off the ice. They're just a wonderful team. These uh, four young ladies, they work hard at it. They come over to Canada every year and, and, and to prepare themselves, as does Peter Lindholm. And so th this should be a classic. And uh, it's a ca chance for Kathy to get herself through to a final and possibly a world championship. Okay. Five, Linda, why do you five? think okay. if she looks back, you know, as Ray says, maybe she she just didn't come into this with the, well, the same kind of style that we saw at the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Well, I know they did a little bit of scouting. They had people scouting the opponents, and I, I think in many cases they felt they could keep it more open and still come through with a victory. But the problem is we're talking slightly different rules. There is different things that happen at a world championship, and I think as soon as you change your style to adapt to an opponent, you do get away from what makes you a winner, and you have to be careful of that. Sweden playing the Red Stones, Canada the yellow. Sweden has won the coin toss. They will have the hammer in the first end to get us going the Canadian lead. Kate Horn. Right right well, I think you know, Linda. There's, you just can't. Uh, right you just can't get the experience without having been there. And I. And there's no question in my mind when you, you sew the, the the buffalo on in Manitoba and you go to the Scott Turnbull Hearts. You know, for the first time, it's different. It's, you know, when you put Canada on your back and you go to the World Championships for the first time, there's something that's there. We see it all the time. Now, let's our viewers remember that uh, Denmark. Helena Black Laverson has been here 15 times. Elizabeth is a world champion twice. Dorothy Norby is a world champion twice. She's had about seven or eight trips to the worlds. So Kathy Borst is here for the first time. And uh, yes, uh, they come out of the toughest country of them all, but it's it's a hidden pressure. It's just there. I mean, you felt it, Linda. You you, you, you know, you had the, the maple leaf on your back. This is an early thing that we've seen from Sweden. They don't put up the corner guard in the first end, but they're trying to be a little bit aggressive with the freeze. Not a bad shot from Elizabeth. I think your comments were, were right on too about Elizabeth. Uh, she's a big game player. She she comes up big in the in the big games, and uh, she did in the round robin game against Kathy. She threw 90% at her, Normal. and Kathy is going to have to Normal. Kathy herself is going to have to really match shot for shot with this uh, young Swedish skip. Yep, please. Yep. Wonderful game this afternoon. Wayne Madaw beating Peter, Peter Lindholm was a tremendous curling game. Yeah, it was good though. I, th I was quite surprised. I thought both both uh, skips made some mistakes early, maybe feeling the pressure, something that I hadn't seen in Madaw before. I don't know if it's so much the pressure. The ice was a little bit faster. They maybe got caught up in, in that a little bit. And Ian struggled a little bit at the beginning of the game, which you don't see. It could be pressure. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tremendous. Yeah, I was going to say the uh, thing about Ian that you knew he was going to come back because he's been to three Briars. He's won them all. He's been to three world championships. He's won them all. <laughs> the odds were he was going to play well and his team was going to go on to the victory. Brenda Bomer. No turn Let's hit. Control. Pretty wide open end, Linda. Ah. I think we kind of expected that. Elizabeth made a little bit of a move with the try with a, an attempt to try and freeze, but didn't work, so they're playing up and down the sheet now. Swedish second is Louise Marmont. She slides. And then she sort of slowly works her way up the ice, crawling. She's kind of the spark plug of that team, Linda. You were saying earlier that she gives, uh, she's kind of the, 
the feisty one and always in the game, always alert, terrific uh, team player. It's a very, very good team. So and the Canadians are really going to have to be at the, at the very top of their game to beat the, the Swedish team with all their experience. Well, that's it. These are the top two teams as far as shooting percentages go, but sometimes in the final few games, the semifinals and the finals, it doesn't come down strictly to numbers. It comes down to when you make the big shot and how you get your team motivated. Louise is one of those players that her determination translates to the other team members and gets them going as well. Okay, guys, give me a draw. I'm looking for about a 65 70. This is a good chance for them to have a draw, for Heather to get a feel for the draw weight. They are measuring back line to first hog line, and they do use the stopwatch. Kate Horn will check that time, a 3.65 in seconds is the time that they're talking. This former world junior That's champion, Godverson, yep. may be able yep. to pass along something of her worldly experience to uh, the Borst. This is the majors, though. This is the show. Not that I'm taking anything away from a world junior championship because it's marvelous. But this is the big time. You're in the big time now. Of all the players on the yeah, ice, Katerina maybe had yeah, the most up yeah, and down yeah, week with numbers yeah, very good one game and then a lot lower the other. She averaged out to a pretty good percentage, as you saw. And she'll lose the shooter out the side. If you compare the teams, uh, pretty good numbers all round, but at third, you'll see that there is quite a spread from that game in round robin play. And it's skip as we showed you before there was that spread. So Katarina certainly will hope to bring up her numbers from that game when they met whoa. in draw seven. Like Sweden winning 5-3. But mostly because of her skip. Whoa. Making wonderful whoa. shots. Well, Katarina is going to have to bring her numbers up uh, because Heather, uh, if uh, she doesn't, Heather will swallow her. This young lady can make a lot of shots. And I, I think that uh, round robin percentage for her is very unusual. But when you, when you look, Ray, at the games, I looked at her first few games and her last few games, and definitely she has had a slide in her numbers. Of course, I mentioned they met Canada, Sweden in draw seven, so that was the start of her poor performances, and you hate to see that at the end of round robin play. <laughs> <laughs> and off and running for her first stone here in this first end. Sweden does have the hammer. Mechanically, she is absolutely sound, sound. Some concern expressed about the scheduling. Their last game, of course, was on Thursday night in the dramatic win over Germany. They were forced to practice. Uh, Friday night after the the men's semi and now you know, and it's a uh, long time between games. Yeah, and then, then I talked about that in detail. We, we really think it was a plus Nick. We really do. Some, yeah, I mean you mentioned that the other night and, and you're right sometimes sitting around the guys think and and the, the top teams discuss it. Gee I don't I would like to get right back at it. But I think in this case. After making that shot, as I mentioned, against Andrew Shop to win, it was great to have the break and relax, and, and I think that uh, it, it would work in her favor. No, I agree. Basically, that last round robin game was sudden death, as is Absolutely. this one, but that was the one that they had to win to try and have a chance to, of course, go for the gold medal, and there was so much pressure. A little bit of relaxation over the last while isn't bad. The only thing, Vic, you mentioned, the practice schedule worked out to be not quite what they wanted, but... You have to take that, given that there are so many games here at the World Championship. Sometimes it works uh, against teams, for example, that are really on a hot roll, Vic. 
Mm -hmm. and, and you get going and you're just flying through those last three or four games of a round robin, and then bang, you gotta sit and wait for two days, and you kind of uh, cool down a bit. Things to watch for for you, the viewers as the game progresses. You'll notice that the that the rings will get a little bit lighter, or the frost will sneak into that area where where all the people are, are milling around all the time, and there's air circulation, is and the body heat is warmer in that area. So you have to really be careful with your with your brushing when the rock crosses the hog line. You have to be on your toes. Once they start to dig in, they will dig in. We saw this afternoon that the ice was a little bit faster and was sliding a little bit to freer. It was a full second faster, I believe, this afternoon. We'll see, we'll get some times on it uh, this evening to see if it is quicker and if it changes. Or those numbers mm -hmm. tell the story. Yeah, you they? see the big spread from the three losses yeah. Team Canada had. Kathy was yeah. not at her best, oh. and that's another reason yeah. why we think the battle may Queen. be at skip. Clean, yeah. Clean, clean, clean. Exchange of stones, eight foot, and so Sweden now will look to roll out, blank this first end, and maintain control of the hammer. Very nice. A few little black bits on the ice. Just be careful. I got a couple on my uh, slider. Okay. You heard uh, Canada talking about little black bits. I believe it was Louise Marmont's gripper during round robin play that had a few problems. So you'll have to be careful and keep the ice clean. Okay. Final stone, oh. Sweden. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth oh, Gustafsson. Yeah. Pearson, yeah, yeah. Marmont, yeah. and they'll watch the shooter go out the side to blank. It's the women's semifinals on this Saturday night of Easter weekend here in Kamloops. Updating the other semifinal on the ice here at the Riverside Coliseum, Denmark, Norway, Denmark. And Helena Black Laverson with the hammer playing Norway and Dordy Nordby as the final stone in the first end. Both teams finished round robin at six and three. You see the red stone on the button belongs to Denmark. Nordby with her final stone played a great freeze, but she's able to pick it out and lie two. Great shot by Helena Black Laverson to start it off for Denmark. Was, was I seeing things or were they pretty casual about that rock going around the guard? That barely got They weren't even brushing it. <laughs> Victor. You would have been in total control as the sweeper, Vic. That yeah, was pretty close, huh? Yeah. That was really close. A great shot by Helena. Wonderful shot. Rocks in the rings and exchanges. So no attempt uh, by Elizabeth to jump on the offense. And just while we have a second, I have to uh, wish a happy Easter to my wife and to the two boys that are in Fort Francis with uh, uh, her family for Easter. And find those eggs tomorrow, boys. They'll be all over the place. Happy Easter, Jenny. Yes. And we wish all of you a very happy holiday weekend. Brenda Bulmer. Let's wait the mine. Terrific addition to this team, Melinda and boy, can she brush. Does she get pressure and friction on that brush? Both teams, excellent brushers. I agree, and also judges of weight and good at communicating. You don't get to the semifinals of the World Championship without that, but uh, for Canada, they have that aspect of the game well in hand. Sports psychologists have a, a scale that they measure people with called the will to win scale. I would say Louise Marmont would be at the very top end of that scale. It's about determination and making sure that you're going to win regardless of the obstacles and that kind of thing. And I know she is, as you said, feisty and uh, determined. And 
will do all it takes, work her hardest to win. Those are the kind of people that I uh, always enjoyed playing with, people that were always in the game and never out of the game and gave it gave it every every day and, and every game. And, uh, you know, it just, it just, those kind of people can drag a team along, you know? Tight. Everybody can't be like that. Everybody has a different personality and Tight. you do what's best for you. You know, you, you control and handle the situations and the pressures the best way. You can handle, but I, I, I know I. Well, bring it right in. When I played, no, his, uh, his. played competitively, right I, I just right had to it, be on right. top of everything. Right, 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 right. 14, 14. She really jumps out of there, doesn't she? The 30-year-old yeah. teacher of math and science in yeah. junior yeah. high. What's the thought here, do you think, between yeah, these no, two teams and this uh, wide-open style, Linda, in the, in the first? Well, Kathy now. doesn't want to take any risk without the hammer, and uh, Elizabeth isn't going to go first. So it's going to be interesting to see who makes the first big move. Uh, Elizabeth, in all fairness, did try the freeze in the first end, and in the second end, the stone came into the top of the house rather than behind the tee line. But uh, during round-robin play, actually, Team Canada, Kathy Bors' team was the least aggressive when you looked at numbers and uh, the others in the playoffs here were not that far behind which was the difference wasn't it from uh, from the Scott tournament of hearts because she was more aggressive there and her numbers actually picked up quite a bit over the course of the week for the first few games she was very defensive and then found her way with the four rock rule and found their style in order to win During that uh, win, Katerina and Elizabeth thought maybe there was a few stones that weren't matched because Katerina had some rocks do things when it looked yeah, like yeah, she was on yeah, the broom yeah, that yeah. no other rock had done. So that may be one of the reasons why her numbers were a little lower. And in that particular game, they misswept a couple of shots of hers, a, a draw, they swept all the way down and it slid through. And so the numbers don't tell you the whole story in, in most occasions, as far as I'm concerned. They're, they're a good guideline and they certainly indicate if you look at the percentage, you'll see all the, the four teams out here, they're all put high in the standings of the percentages, so. A little more, a little more weight. Yep. 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 Heather Godberson yep. as we play third stones here in this Hurry. second. Hurry. 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 Horn on the left, no Homer on the right. And the shooter will yep. spill in. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh. Got the, <laughs> see, that's why I there. wait. She <laughs> may have that Joan McCusker bewitching. <laughs> uh, I'd say there's a little bit of frost already out that wide, and it caught the rock and brought it back. It was a cute comment by Joan. I forget where it was and when it was said, but she says, you know, I hexed them. I hexed them. She's I'm a witch, you know. <laughs> yeah. Katharina yeah, Nyberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the game fairly wide open, we still have seen a variety of shots, and we're expecting for most of the game when we measure hog to hog with times, and this is brought to you by Karsher, draw the key one, of course, 14 seconds between those hog lines. For the women, they throw takeouts at about nine and a half, hack about 11 and a half, and guards about 15 and a half, but we did see in the final for the men that the sweeping yeah, took it go, even you know, further today than maybe in past late. days. So we will see if that is the case in this semifinal. Yeah, and it was it was uh, almost a full second faster down the slide path today for sure. And both teams got caught a few times. Rocks uh, behind the T line that uh, uh, in, in situations Just where you never saw Just them make those control. kind of mistakes. Just well, had a yeah. little trouble with well, picking well. up. Uh, change in the speed. I talked to Wayne yeah, after the game yeah, and yeah, he yeah. said there was no question that it was, yeah, it was way, Katie, faster. Your way, your way. And there was what we call a normal takeout, just about exactly that 9.5 second time. So they're accomplishing a few things, even though it's wide open. They're banking some time on the time clock. Remember, they get the 75 minutes, but no timeouts to play. Learning about the ice, and they've had a couple of draws to get the feel for that weight. 
Jo, oh, jag tyckte det. Eller? Louise Marmont is uh, partway down the ice, just tidying up as Elizabeth gets ready. That's why she's waiting a few moments. Ja, det är spelaren där på träningen. Med Elisabeth i boet. She's a gastrointestinal surgeon. 33-year-old Elizabeth Gustafsson. I very much liked your line the other day, Vic. That she causes yeah. ulcers in the <laughs> opponent. Because you're right on. <laughs> and we'll roll it to the four. Like this turn, or do you like the other one? Control? Yeah. Final stone for Canada and Kathy Borst. And as you pointed out earlier, she was clearly out curled by Gustafsson in that loss. And it 78% is not a bad number. We say 75% for a skip is about where you want to be at a minimum in a big game. And Kathy was at 78 in that game. It's just 90% and more, as we see from people like Graham McCarroll. Those are numbers that are hard to beat. Can man think as a little, little mindre bara? Tightening the broom and the blank attempt, the thought of course, make it go away first. Final stone. And quickly called on Elizabeth Pearson on the right. Louise Marmont is on the left, closest to the stone. Will they able to roll it out? No, it'll hang around. T line, 12 foot for one for Sweden here in this second. So they played it up and down the sheet, hoping to get the blank, and Sweden can't. When we come back, Canada will have the hammer for the first time, and Elizabeth Gustafsson and Sweden have the early lead. Updating the other semi-final, Denmark, Norway. Denmark, yes. Helena black Robinson made a terrific shot with her last stone in the first to score two. Now it's the final stone for the two-time yes. world champion from Norway, Dordi Nordby, a winner in 90 and 91, who this week celebrated her 34th birthday. And with Kristen Toss Lothus out front and Miriam Haslam, Look at that, she's drawing against two at the back, 12 for her single. Norway's on the board. Denmark has the hammer as they go to three. Sweden forced to take one. And so Canada has the hammer and trailing as we start here in the third. That was an interesting exchange of stones, Linda. The Swedish stone came just half in, into the rings. And so it allowed Canada to hit it. Canada hit it right on the nose, the yellow stone out there. And now Sweden cannot remove it. They can touch it and go around it, but they cannot take it out of play. And that's uh, what they were attempting to do was to go around it. Can I hit that? Is it in? Is it in? Yeah. You're just making sure that uh, with world rules, of course, you cannot hit rocks until after the fourth stone of the end has come to rest if it's an opponent's guard. And so they're just making sure that rock was in, not a guard. And it is, so two really, two mistakes by Sweden this end already. Kate doesn't have a lot of faith in her skip, does she? <laughs> she wanted to make sure she wasn't using the Canadian rule. And sits right there, and two yellow stones in that control zone. I think it is spela på dubben här. De ligger precis jämn höjd. Så nu tar tunt där. Ganska hårt. They can get them both if they hit them just properly. Going after the center yeah, line yeah, one first. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, a little break for Canada, and she pushed it in the rings. Eight. Yellowstone is just biting now. Uh, Fourteen. Canada with last draw, because a chance to draw to the open side. To lie two. I mentioned that Kate does the interval timing, but they do measure hog to hog to transfer the information about draw Eight. weight, and they do believe as well that 14 seconds between the hog line will be the perfect draw. Eight. Yes, 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 yes. Now it's moving into the frostier area, so it appears that you need to give a tiny bit more momentum on the sides. And the added brush will drag it just in front of the T line edge of A8. Louise Marmont. Looking for the big roll right across. Snuggles up beside. Very nice shot. It was a nice roll, so Kathy will try and hit that, remove it, obviously, and try and roll it over into this area here. Yeah! Okay, just nice. Gotta go. Brenda Bulmer will try and do that. Hey! 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 Quick! Hey! Hey! Codverson, Horn, can they hold it? No, they'll catch their own stone right, first. Right, right, right. Kill it, and then the roll over top four. Did she throw it down a bit? I think so. I think she must have also gotten it started. And Ray, you've told us how much it curls to the outside, and when you're playing that inside-out hit, you have to be sure you're right at the stick. Tough miss for Brenda. She doesn't miss very many, and that was a chance to really keep the pressure on Sweden and maybe pick up a deuce. Katharina Nyberg. Try to flip it behind the guard of the game. Yeah, try and roll behind the guard. Just control! Yep! Just get it! Wait to get it! Yep! Sweet! Hey! Quick! Oh, oh, oh. Other oh. way. Other way. Whoa! Roll it, Katie. Won't roll anywhere. I'll sit right there. <laughs> it was 1996. Something with her first one. In Red Deer against Scotland and Julia Ewart. For the championship. Heather Godbertson. For the championship. To become the yes, sir. Yes, sir. world junior champion. Winning 7 6. And now looking to become women's world champion. Try to take another step towards it anyway with a win here in the semi final against Sweden. Hit this, you could actually get the double, but move you could roll bit. it right in behind this one here. Yeah. Turns out the fifth player for Sweden was also yeah, in that 96 yeah, World Junior Slow Champion, Slow Margarita Slow Lindahl. So she Slow. knows Godperson hey, well. Hey. Anybody going to get this roll behind the guard? No, not this time, but she'll get the double at the back. She got the double. She was really looking for the roll and behind the guard to try and set up the deuce, but a uh, nice double. 
They're getting a lot of late finish on even these takeouts. Uh, it shows you the amount of curl on this okay, sheet yeah. of ice. Come yell as soon as you're letting them go. Still, it's busting good, eh? Yeah. My busting rocks, good. My That's the late finish I'm talking about, rocks. which makes Ray a tough spot to get a roll. Well, we had a little bit of rain today. There's a little more humidity in the air, and uh, it's late in the day. It's the evening now, of course, and uh, it's a big crowd, so there's definitely going to be a frost. Frost will definitely be a factor. First skip stone by Sweden. Elizabeth Gustafson, Canada with the hammer, trailing 1-0. Other way yes, now. Yes, this yes, turn is yes, not yes. curling very much. Huh. Once again, a hit on that stone and try and roll in behind the guard. So now they will go with the other turn here. Well, this is the one that Heather tried, and they just have to be prepared when it gets closer to center is when it makes its move. So. The calling of the line for Heather is going Just to be show critical. Show the corner, like don't run it straight behind it, otherwise they'll, they'll run it straight back and be guarded. What's her point, Ray? Well, she wants to show about half the stone to entice them to try and pick it out or something of that nature as opposed to the run back, because the ro shots are going to be, uh, when she if she does get the good roll, Vic, they'll be very close together. Show her a corner is what the comment That's was. The And the roll, the show her a corner, a little corner on the other side. No corner there. <laughs> it rolled a bit further than she wanted. She does leave the straight back run back. And the problem is if they make it, they leave the stone in front guarding. Yeah, I know. If you, if you show a corner and she runs it back, then the, you'll have a, a shot at the one that's behind. But now if they exchange stones, as Linda mentioned, it'll be fully guarded. But they'll be close together. And Elizabeth still has to make this, and this isn't an easy spot, as we've seen. It hangs for a while and then does break. Final stone for Sweden and Elizabeth Gustafsson. Keeping our eye on the game between yeah, Denmark yeah, and Norway, you see Norway is lying two in the third. Yeah, 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 Final stone yeah, for Denmark coming up. Trying to run it back yeah. now, Gustafsson in Sweden. And she does, pretty shot. Now it's a hit against two for Helena Black Larvison and Denmark. <laughs> Jumping on it quickly. To sit right there to score one, and Denmark will have a 3-1 lead. After three, Dordy Nordby and Norway to have the hammer playing four. Well, you could draw also, she could also just draw for one here. I like this. If she's worried about it. What do you like? Okay, play it feel then. So she has to get him off of the off center a little bit. That's right. They were asking that if no they peel. hit this directly no. on the nose, if the stone that they're raising would be outside the rings, and the answer is no. So the run back for the blank for Canada here in three. You could also draw for the one point if you wanted to here. Well, would you do that here? Just to be safe? Yeah, well, I mean it's just been how you feel about this hit here, this run back. She's playing for the blank here. You can't uh, exchange the stones. Run back double. Look at them go to work. Bomer, Horn, nice. going to drive it by. It will. It took off on her. And she'll give up the steal of one to Sweden. Elizabeth Gustafsson gets one. Borst has the hammer, but Gustafsson has the lead. 2 nothing as we go to the fourth in the women's final of the Ford Worlds. Well, I'm sure there's going to be some second guessing. 
On that final stone by Kathy Borst, draw versus the angle double to uh, a possible blank. Second guessing? Definitely. Ray and I were just saying it's not that it's the wrong call, it's the situation and the person playing. Kathy Borst normally does not play that kind of shot. As I was saying, if you saw Wayne Mada Ray step up and do that, that would be something would be his style. But uh, for Kathy, that I found that a little unusual. Yeah, if you're not sure of it, I mean, it could be made easy, but you couldn't hit it in the nose, exchange it, I mean, you could have been just drawn for a point, and it's early in the in the game, and uh, tied it up. 81. 81. Nice shots by both leads this end, and you saw the nice numbers. And they play such a huge part in this game with the four rock free guard zone rule. You can see the slide path area where most of the play is getting a little shinier in the frost along the boards, creeping out a little bit. And you'll notice that uh, in that area in the center of the ice, it'll start to get a little straighter as the game goes on. Okay. Yeah. 14 2 here. Between ends, Heather Godbertson talked with Kathy Borst about the situation that might develop, and I think this is exactly what they thought. Now they go in, we put up the corner, and now we have to we'll try and cover it. The corner isn't too wide, and I think they might have done that on purpose as well. It might be tapped up later. Back T, back T. Katie. Remember in, I think it was primarily, I guess, Winnipeg, we saw where the, the placing of the corner guards was so important because of the frost buildup and trying to get it behind it. Now is that tight corner, as we'll say, on the edge of the forefoot there for that reason or just there because they put it there? I, I don't think it's as big a factor here. You can, you can get behind the corners, Vic. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, you can move them over further. Uh, here than you, than you could in Winnipeg because in Winnipeg you couldn't get to the 12 foot in some cases but here you can definitely get to the 12 foot. I think it's more of a case of maybe using it as a tap up later. <laughs> Louise Marmont <laughs> makes the angle raise to get the Canadian stone. Still has a way to go to catch Brenda Bomer in her early numbers through three. First walk down. You could make a play on that stone and get the flop because there are two guards out in front, but they're going to be a little more patient than that, that and hope for a miss hit. Where is that? Eight. 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 I might have been tempted to just tap this back, Linda, into the back uh, 12 foot and try and get the roll, but this is a... Good aggressive call. Oh, okay. You like this one hard enough? Thank God. Thank God. Hey, Nalina. You see me too. Remember, Canada has the hammer here in four, trailing two nothing. But it's Sweden lying one, top four foot. Play hack, wait. And they got to make a play on it. We decorate. Yeah, I like this. Nose. This side. Well, eh? if we hit it across the face, it will bounce it in here. Okay. Right oh. Play board. Board? Do you like? I like hack. Got to move the three rock. Got the point from an angle. 
And the yellow should bounce into what, maybe the four and mm -hmm. be shot. I like board weight too. I don't like hack weight. I would play it with board weight. I think Kate made a good point. Uh, they're wanting to bounce a few stones and yeah, they also absolutely. are angling things so they don't want it to over curl. Want to hit it a bit on the broom side. Brenda Bulmer. Down and wait too. That, that Enough was, weight, eh? Well, that's that's back 12 foot weight. That's not even hack weight. That's Kathy, Kathy decided on board weight. That's way down in weight. The only good thing is it actually opened things up rather than just miss hitting mm -hmm. the ones in the house. It got rid of the guard. Vi har en precis mitt på linan då. Eller vänta, då ska jag inte kunna göra oss. Vi slår dem där så slår de ju bara bort egen. Eller så där då. Har inte på det en hake ungefär. Well, Katarina had that poor performance during round robin play but both thirds shooting well. Remember it is an open game and there haven't been that many difficult shots called as yet. Känns som den där mer än din Lolo för om man ska ta den ett tag. Va? Ja. Men inte in. Nej. Är det inte in? Nej. Det är ungefär en halv meter framför. Jag ska mitt på linan i alla fall. Nu är den snart inne då. Kan du dra lite då? Ja, 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 lite till, lite till, lite till, lite till. They knew they could leave the other corner open and not have a lot of danger. That's why they weren't sweeping that as much as you might have thought. The angle of the red onto yellow is not as good coming through the hole. Top of that, T-line. Back eight. Or back four? Back four? Back four or back eight? Tap, tap this one to T-line. Okay, back four. Wait. They gotta make sure they know what kind of weight they're throwing. I'm not sure that Brenda Bomer didn't uh, realize that Kathy wanted uh, and was icing her for uh, board weight because they were talking hack and board. And you're, uh, you gotta know exactly what weight's being requested. Heather Godverson. Back eight. Back eight. Back eight. Back 12. No line. Back eight. Coming down. No line. Yes. Back 12. Going to get by or crash? No, it'll rub in front and spill in. Okay. Starting to straighten out. That ran straight down there. We saw that a little bit this afternoon as the center of the ice area warms up a bit. Yeah. That just ran. Was good. You just heard Kathy and Brenda talking about the weight, and uh, Kathy said to her, "It was it was just back line, Brenda, and we, we, we needed board, so it was just a weight. She just threw it down." Now that rolls to a, a reasonably good spot for Canada. Brenda, I know the Swedes are going to play it, but is that rolls oh, yeah. rolls to a great spot? Yeah, the nice thing is they have to play it and can't just guard again. Uh, you don't want them protecting and protecting. You want a way to get into the house. Okay, Sweden needs to get a roll here. Okay. Canada's getting themselves into a fair amount of trouble right here now. Down two, you don't need to be losing another point. Yeah. Katharina Nyberg. Yeah. Yeah. Marmont, yeah. Harrison. Yeah. Doubles there now. Good chance here for Heather to make a big shot, get her skip out of trouble, get the team out of trouble. With a little redecoration, as she likes to say. Run it right back. No brushing yet by Horn or Bomer. 
Angle double available to her. She'll jam it. Sit! Sit! And the shooter will hang around. That's running pretty straight down there. Anytime you step your weight up, Linda, we, that's what we've seen all week. <laughs> and I think especially just outside that four foot band, you see the stone starts to make a little move once it reaches that line, but it's hanging a long time before that. One more. Nope. And once again, Gustafsson with the edge on Kathy Borst. Through three. Okay, here's the shot. This. Onto this one, removing it, sitting there. I'll just clear it for a minute, sitting right. Oops. Sit right there, and the Red Rock will squirt over a bit. Fly three. She's a big game player. This is, this is running pretty straight. And look at roll right on top. Well, she is a surgeon and she's uh, used to the pressure, of course, and good shot. I don't mind rolling over the side. Hmm? Yeah. Well, let, just roll it right, right behind that one. Yeah. It bounces off that front, that red, and it's going to possibly go toward that yellow. Control weight? Yeah, it's running a little straight. It's yeah. running straighter. I was yeah. going to say that. Well, that is the intangible we talk about, the ability to handle the pressure and the ability to play well in the big game in Sweden. Elizabeth Gustafsson has done that. Bronze medals or gold medals in every world and international appearance. Team got together in 1992 for that first world title. Hit and roll. First yep. for Kathy pass. Horst. Yes. Right out of her hand Hard. again, Horn Bomer. Never Hard. let up. Hard. 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 Where will the shooter go? Behind cover and sit into the floor. Canada nice shot. shot. I should have been on that. There. What? I should have been rolling that over big time. Yeah, Heather's right. It's uh, either that or leave it <laughs> straight. She gets. Can't roll too much for it at all. The other shot, the other side would have been no, shot. Yeah. She took yeah. the angle what? off a little I bit wish I would have rolled on the run back. This other red to make her have to cut it this way, and then now she just hits and rolls in. Elizabeth, to, uh, a straight back will work. She has to hit a little bit on the center line side to get the perfect shot. She can get to the nose too. It's a little more dangerous. Denmark and Norway blank the fourth end of play, so it remains 3 1 Denmark. Doherty Nordby has the hammer playing five. Final stone for Sweden Gustafsson. Here in four. Run it back. Got it. She does. Kalai three. They left it a little bit too long for the absolute perfect shot, but she still got three in there. We hit this here. And Remove it, obviously, or push it this way. It doesn't really matter, but roll into this area here. To get one. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can we not draw for one here? Well, the holes aren't very big out there, Nick. She thinks she knows the way to get to the eight foot better this way. Once again, second straight stone that Horn and Bomer have been called on. Going to find the hole, going to catch anything or get nothing. Oh, and a glancing blow, and it's one, two, three. Steal of three for Sweden and Gustafsson, and all kinds of problems for the Canadians early. And did you turn it? It's turning out to be lots of problems for Canada. The practice times held up. David Coulthard, McLaren, front row with Michael Schumacher, Ferrari. Jacques Villeneuve starts seventh, the Argentine Grand Prix, and you'll see it Sunday morning, 11.30 Eastern time. The key shot, boy. Well, well go ahead, Lennon, you yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, she would just love this back race. She was inside all the yeah, way. Yeah, she, she had missed this out of her hand, Vic. She just turned it over and got it started immediately. They jumped on it, they pounded it all the, all the way, but uh, it was gone from, uh, from her hand, and she knew it, too. Kate Horn, Brenda Bomer couldn't save her this time. Steal of three. And Sweden is now up 5 nothing. Gustafsson. And it's a tough for Godberson, Horn, Bomer, and Borst. The Canadian champions now down 5 nothing as we go to the fifth. Hola. Hey, hola. Hola. With the four rock rule, there are going to be rocks in play and chances to come back. And there's a mistake. Swedish stone is now open in the house. So you, you can't go crazy here. You have to remember that you've got lots of time. It's only the fifth end. Two here would make it a, a much better situation. And, and a three is certainly possible with two guards up front. Four is even better. Five, Five would be, would be wonderful. <laughs> This has got two guards and a rock to freeze yeah. to, so lots happening on And lots of time, too, so it's it's not over or anything, but she's really dug a hole for herself, and she's going to have to execute and make some big shots to get herself out of it. Not just her, all four of them. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Ska du försöka vicka den vägen? Eller spela så? Nej, spela så. Stänger vi ju den. Jag tänkte om man gör det där så är det ju... Nej, jag tycker det är, det är lika bra att andra. Ja, okej då. Is that a face här under då? some pressure? Absolut. Disappointed in herself. That's what you have to shake off as a skip. Uh, yeah. She did not throw it well. Yeah. She knows it wasn't yeah. that difficult yeah. a shot, yeah. even yeah. though there were three yeah. in the house. Yeah. To lie too. And, and so far in this game, you really have to give all the credit to the uh, to the Swedish team. They're just executing perfectly. I mean, they haven't made any mistakes. This was the, with a raised takeout uh, the previous end, and and then uh, the shots uh, we just saw in this end where the she stole the three, she raised the takeout again, raised takeout again. So I mean, uh, that's great curling on the part of uh, Sweden. You just have to. Dig in and, and start making some shots. You're not going to fight your way back without some great shot making. And you will get your chances with the four rock rule. There are rocks you can get in front. So you need the freezes. You need the angles. She's going around it now, trying to get plan B. And it'll rub and spill top eight. Just not making the shots so far. We can see it Louise Marmont in her seventh appearance at a world championship and we mentioned that this team had come together five years ago. These are probably the four premier curlers in their country, are they not? And then they're all on the same team. 
they're excellent curlers. They haven't made out of it out of Sweden for two years. There are other very good players in the country. And Vic, as we know, putting together the top team doesn't just mean putting together the four best, best players, shooters. Sure. And that's why the team is so interesting, as we mentioned, with a, a very quiet lead, yeah, Elizabeth Persson, and then the dynamic top Louise top Marmont at second. And, a pretty confident Whoa, third, Katarina Nyberg and Room. Elizabeth, who just finishes it all off. Room. Got a curl, Heather. Needs up. Needs it. Needs it for Wade. You can hear them communicating. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, yeah, that's good. Denmark, another blank in five, so Norway holds on to the hammer. 3 1 Denmark. Helena right Black Larverson, the silver medal winner at Nagano, leading there. Ska vi göra speken spela på guard? Trying to decide which guard to take off or whether to protect. And they're going to guard. Just gonna keep the pressure on. Alternative would have been what? They looked at peeling either one of the yellow stones, trying to decide what then Canada would do, but Ray said it best, keep the pressure on and see what will happen. This is very straight at first, right until it gets back into the forefoot. I want to line them up. Ray, don't you, in fact, give Canada a chance if you're Sweden, if you do leave the yellow stones in play, would you not be better to get rid of them? Well, at this stage, I guess she's saying to herself, I can't get them all off the front, Vic, and I'm just, you know, I'll just go to the offense myself and keep the pressure on that way. In answer to your question, you can, that kind of play can backfire because they can get a big end built up and sometimes their own rocks in front. But at this, in this particular situation right now, they're, they're in pretty good shape. You can see so, the three of them talking, and that's probably what they're talking about, just making sure everybody knows exactly what has to happen so that they don't leave an opening for Canada to make an easier here. shot. So it's a red onto yellow here. Canadians in a big shot to lift them. Heather Godberson. Will she be the one to instill a little confidence in this team that's been rocked with five points here in four? Well, it's moving. And curling again. I think she's light, though. I, I, that's light. She, she, she's playing uh, red onto yellow. That, that, that's just light. Struggling with the weight. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> no, it wasn't, guys. We gotta. No, 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 my rugs are curlers. I've told her that twice now. I need more ice. Uh, and she says I'm dumping them in. But I don't think I'm dumping them that bad. That was also light. Looking for the little tick now. This is at and Canada email from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. How many titles have the Canadian women won at the world more, level? Actually, back 12 to get it back here. And it's back 10. Okay. The last being, of course, Sandra Schmerler in 1997. Raising the Yellowstone back. Center line stone. Mm -hmm. Got lots of weight. Yep. Got back line. Whoa. 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 Back line. Whoa. Whoa. Stay close. You Whoa. like this weight better now? Whoa. Oh. Weight. Oh. The weight's fine, but it's oh. different than they threw the last time. Okay. Just got a little unlucky. Sweden continues to fly one, and the shooter rolled over, sit center line, and now it's 
Straight back's not possible because it's corner being blocked by another Canadian stone. The nice thing for Sweden, they could even just pick this out and then Canada would only have the tougher come around to make in this spot. Vi kan aldrig peta in den. Ja, det är klart att vi kan peta in den bättre om vi tar jätte, jättetunt. Men alltså, jag tycker att en vanlig normal ska gå. Ja, det är där. För det var en sport har varit lite bättre nu också. Trakt och fint. Trakt och fint. Trakt och fint normal. The first skip stone in Sweden's yeah, yeah, Elizabeth Gustafsson here yeah, in five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it by the corner. They do. And they'll sit three in a line. Haven't missed a thing. No, I thought the whole time it was bottom. I thought we'd have to take that one. No, that's fine. Yellow. Well, that's what you're looking at. Doesn't work. At least I'll open it. It's not pretty. Yeah, but they're gonna just leave theirs up there anyway. I don't mind. I don't know. It is. I think the red onto yellow is nice. Well, then I'm just gonna leave that red sitting there, though. But we'll be there. Well, we're gonna have that one sitting in the middle. Right. We're gonna have their red sitting in the middle if it don't work it out perfectly. Oh, you always got this. This is what Heather is talking about. That red onto that yellow. We're not gonna get this five. Onto that. That's a really tough shot. Well, at least okay. up front, right? Okay. Let's do her. She's going to play the peel on the front one. She could... Okay. You want to get rid of that one first? Yeah. Okay. You figure about half? No, we got to hit a little, hit a little less than that. Okay. And he's going to play this in half of this one, trying to drive it over that way there. It's moving, though. You threw control here last time it moved. Something other, you know, and you should get the... Okay. Control. Linda, why didn't she like the uh, red on the right side onto yellow onto red? Well, she's in a bit of a panic here because if something isn't cleaned up, she's not going to have a route to the forefoot. The red onto yellow, if she nosed it just okay, off the spot she wanted, would still leave the guards up front. Control. It wants a way into that forefoot, and she doesn't want to have to play off that side 12-foot one because with the frost, that's a long way to roll. Down five nothing is is not great, but the game is really on the line here. Yep. I mean, if you yep. lose a couple yep. more points, uh, yep. you're in huge trouble. Going to come across the Hurry. face. Hurry. Is she going to get lucky? No. No. It seems to be inside on everything. Is that two? What? What number was that? One. One. Oh, sorry, that was four. Okay. I got a shot left. Yep. Come on. Roll off that yep. one. It was an intern last end that she got inside. Oh, that's there. Too. Might have been a tiny bit inside there, pointing it a little bit with the hand. And that's, oh. But it had curled there. If you were at all inside, yeah, it's going to get to that curl early. And the shooter rolled over oh. and has corner frozen now on that red stone nice. that she might have played with her first one red onto yellow. Trying to guard the one in the forefoot. Need it just beside center line. Okay. 
Look at it curl. Måste stanna, måste stanna. Bra Elisabeth. Nice shot. Nice guard. It goes hard. Oh, this, this one we're gonna go like this way and this way. The other way we're gonna go this way, right? Okay. Okay, I gotta throw normal at it though. Okay. It's moving. Enough? Yep. Okay. We need yeah. to roll. Yeah, we need roll to the fourth. Well, I can see what she's playing here. I'll just wait till Elizabeth clears a little bit, please. Okay, we gotta throw normal here. Okay. Gonna hit this here and try and roll over here. Well, as Ray says, sometimes you uh, you don't want to push the panic button, but in this case, facing three, you're down five. You're not just pushing it, you're pounding it with your fist. The panic button, the final stone for Canada here in five and facing three. She's turned in her last three stones. Kathy Borst called it well. Roll it over, drag it, get it there. That's the way to do it. Get one on the board and get something back. Big shot, I'll tell you, that's the game. That should get a little confidence back to go to the fifth end break. Sweden still leads 5-1. Yeah, she needed this desperately. Well, this is absolutely a wonderful shot, and it's all she had, Vic. And to make this uh, so perfectly really keeps her alive. I know she's down four, but without this, you could hear the Velcro snap, and uh, it would have been over, believe me. What a great shot. To roll it to the edge of the button, and finally, she says, <laughs> thank you very much. So they go to the fifth end break, Sweden up five to one over Canada here in this women's semifinal of the Ford Worlds in Cam Loops at the Riverside Coliseum. The other semifinal featuring Denmark and Norway, and they're playing in the sixth with Denmark leading three to one over Doherty Nordby. Earlier today, the men's final, Canada against Sweden. Peter Lindholm, the reigning world champion, and this is in eight and down four, three, and everyone in now. And we talked about great brushing ice the entire week, and this is. Great brushing to get him there for unbelievable, two. Unbelievable, unbelievable brushing, Vic. And then a steal of one in nine, and then in ten, Canada, and the freeze for Wayne Madar. He puts this in absolutely the perfect spot. Peter Lindholm has nothing. They looked at it, looked at it, and looked at it, and looked at it, and there was no way to score two for Sweden. And it was a steal of one there, and a 7-4 final, Canada. And Wayne Madar. Dominant at the Labatt Briar, and he's now world champion in Paris intently. That is world championship number three. Right. Yeah. Well, we're going to Daryl Horn talking with the team, the coach. Just a reminder: the 99 Ford World Curling Championships are in St. John, New Brunswick. At Harbor Station, there are the dates, and there's the number for information. John Travis is the president of the organizing committee, and he's with Linda. John, this year Kamloops welcomed the world, and you're saying come see the worlds in St. John. I'm sure you're excited about next year. Absolutely. Uh, the group here in Kamloops have done a great job and set a new standard for the Ford World Curling Championships, and we in St. John are extremely excited to have everyone next year at Harbor Station to our event and we can't wait to have the curlers come in in April. We'll put on our show and do what we have to do which we're very very excited about. I know a lot of Canadians don't always see the teams here but I think with Finland for example winning a medal for the first time ever we're seeing very competitive play at the Worlds and that's great for everybody. The level of play has uh, become extremely more competitive and next year being the first qualifying event for the 2002 Olympics uh, we hope to see that level go a little bit higher again. Thank you very much. We're excited about being there as well, and I know you'll do a great job. Thank you, Linda. And to keep you uh, reminding of St. John, a little present from the host committee. Thank you very much. A lovely sweater. <laughs> Thank you. Vic? It is a beautiful building, the Harbor Station. April 4th through the 12th, the 99 Ford World Curling Championships. And your number to call, 1-800-267-2800.
Something to smile about. Canada's on the board. 5-1, Sweden leading. <laughs> Welcome back to the Riverside Coliseum and our final day of coverage these Ford Worlds let's go quickly to the game between Denmark and Norway they blanked four and five three one Denmark leading this is the final stone for Norway and there skipped the two time world champion Dordi Nordby and as the stones come into play it's a hit for one certainly is it two it looks like it, may, it might be if she can hold the shooter but she cannot that second point or the shot stone now was that Yellowstone top 12. So it is only one for Norway in six. Denmark, Helena Black Laverson, also a world champion, silver medal winner Nagano, will have the hammer back going to seven and leading 3-2. We've played five in our game, the semifinal featuring Sweden and Canada. Time to check the numbers after five with Linda, and it's brought to you by Simon Eyes. Well, the numbers, you see the scoreboard, and that, of course, is the big set of numbers and the steals for Sweden. Sweden down the left-hand side with terrific shooting percentages. And just if you're wondering, Elizabeth Gustafsson, the skip, is shooting 95%. Kathy Borst is a respectable 73 after making that very difficult hit and roll to save the last end. But so far, it's been all Sweden. Well, maybe that'll give them a, a obviously should give them a big lift. They, it, it's still a tough uh, road home, uh, Linda. You're down four in this end. You don't have the hammer, but the four rock rule does allow you to get some rocks in play. And you can see the two yellow stones out in front are can't the Canadian stones. But what makes it difficult, Ray? The first stone, of course, had gone up. Perfect come around. Another stone on a come around attempt is short. A perfect come around. It's not that Sweden is going to give up one inch in this match. No. And the two stones are, uh, are kind of overlapped a little bit. I don't know how we can't see how close they are, but they they are overlapping a little bit. They make the raises difficult. Wait, you know. But you got to get execution from everybody. I mean, Kathy missed the, the tough shot. Just not, just not making shots. That's what it amounts to. Brenda's struggling a little bit. And... It's a tough, tough. There's a tough peel now. There's a tough peel because in trying to peel the, these uh, stones, you could drive one back into this area here. So you got to be careful. Elizabeth is showing on her broom how much separation is between the stones to Louise at the far end. If there is danger in this, and I know what you're saying about raising the second one back, can you not leave them if you're Sweden and yeah, just deal with yeah. them, Linda? You could, but the four-point lead is dictating yeah, this call. She wants yeah, to clean things yeah, up. Yeah. And there's the danger. That's okay. She knew that, that that pretty well had to happen. If, if she didn't play those, the Canada was going to play them. So. Yes. The only way to protect would have maybe to jiggle them around. Yep. And if you jiggle them wrong, then you're leaving hits mm. and rolls for Canada. So it's the four point lead. Uh, Sweden doesn't have to take Tight. any big chances. Even if they Come give around. up a steal of one along Tight. the way, they have Real. very good control of this game. Round, well, lots of room. Lots of room. Got to curl. Got to curl. Hard. Yep. Hurry. Hurry. A little more. A little more. Hurry. Hurry. You can leave it the outside, that side. Not too much of it. She's going to peel it anyway. Good guard. That was good guard. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
defend this. We saw the Canadian men in their game last night against Finland get off to a big jump and then really put on a display of, uh, of peeling and big weight shots. And just a uh, mention again, I was very impressed with Marky, Marku, UC Pavoniemi and his bronze medal today. I briefly mentioned that in the interview with Mr. Travis. But for them to come back after getting thumped, let's face it, against Canada and to play very Mine's well against good. Scotland and to win Let it on man. last well drop, you have to commend that team Let and their terrific week. And I was, you know, talking to some of the Finns and they were saying that was a yeah, huge yeah, win yeah. for them to get the bronze medal here. And, and, and uh, you know, I mean, obviously Scotland uh, has been in a position to win world championships and get many medals, but Finland, that's their very first medal. And it means an awful lot to them, Vic, from a funding point of view. Huge difference in the amount of funding that would then filter down to their sport so they were ecstatic about it and and, and you're right Linda after getting uh, cuffed around by uh, Wayne Madaw they really played an excellent game David Smith got a little bit of a bad break on his last yeah, one he was trying yeah. to get a hit and a little yeah. bit of a roll and he yeah. left a, yeah. a double for uh, uh, for the Finnish skip Marku 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 Usi Pavlovani Marku oh he was so Uzi. close what? <laughs> Why do you Last do that? Show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll just live on that right through the summer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The whole summer. I will get you for that. <laughs> you, you know that. UC Pavel Nemi. UC Pavel Nemi. I will get whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> You'll be sitting in your backyard one day, sipping on a little drink. And <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, There'll be a parcel delivered. That's right. Yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, there, much was written this week about the fact that they don't have a permanent facility. For all intents and purposes, it's an outdoor she device with a tarp cover over it. Outside temperature, inside temperature, exactly the same, and it's at the mercy mercy of the weather. So maybe this. Like Denmark, the silver medal will lead to the building of permanent facilities. Canada's done Iber a nice gets job. it over the corner. Yeah, they've done a nice job putting them up, Canada, but so far Sweden has done a nice job right, taking them off. That one just caught the no, corner, but enough. Doubles there. Okay. Just a Gotta closing comment over. about Finland. No, under, and and I, do we'll listen to this first. Hit and roll was one conversation. Make her hit against two. She could sit here. Hit and roll here. These are too close. Well, that sets up the double. Right? And then we can hit and roll in behind next time. We're playing weight. Roll to the outside, lie two, hope maybe get a hit and roll out. Just a closing comment on the, on the, the Finns victory. Is that Linda, we you talked about it, uh, uh, you know, during the week that really impressed with their style of play and how much they've picked up on the strategy and uh, their ability to come down and throw the soft weight as opposed to always the big weight. They, they really have made tremendous strides. So that's that's another great sign in, in maybe the best year in the history of the game of curling as we go into the Olympics and the, and the game is buzzing all around the world. And that's why I think the World Championships uh, in Canada next year in St. John are really an exciting event to attend because we are seeing that top shot making from every team now. Looking for the roll here, roll away. Kathy Bors, first skip stone here in six. Well, they thought of rolling the one way and it's over curled, but it's still a good shot. She's just surprised about the ice in many spots. Shot. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Man kunde slå helst vilka så här halvjön bara. Funny, they, the Europeans often do this for their skip, turn the stone over and get it cleaned off. But you remember, Vic, some years like uh, 
when the worlds were in Vancouver, it was very warm. If the stone was left too long in that position, it had actually warmed up enough to slow it down. So you have to be a little bit careful when you do that. These conditions, the ice uh, temperature, air temperature difference is not that extreme. Man. Yeah, doing the yeah. world championships yeah. at BC Place, that was yeah. an adventure. In Nagano, it was a bronze medal performance for Elizabeth Gustafsson and her team from Sweden. As Lyndon Ray suggests, there was added exposure as well. We heard so many countries say, with the early snow problems and uh, many of the downhill skiing events uh, being canceled, curling got uh, added exposure in Europe, and that has certainly helped as well. Well, Kathy's got a chance once again to hit and roll in behind the, the rock sitting at the top of the uh, eight foot at the 12 o'clock position. And if she does, she can really put some pressure on here, Linda. And this will be the first time that Canada would be in a good position to go for yes, a steal. Soft. Yes! Soft! Yes! Yep. Quick! Quick! Soft means oh, the weight's over. down a bit. That's why they're sweeping. Whoa, all the way! Yeah, whoa, whoa. She would like to have had that out, played that out turn in the end where she missed the uh, intern for... Gave up the three. Didn't get the roll, but still, uh, it's a tricky. Elizabeth has to get a little roll for shot. Didn't want to go either way. Didn't want to go either way. Hitting it on the nose all the way. Oh, we could have been off completely. Then to hit go this, this one. Way, but I, we were playing this and one. roll in yeah. here yeah. for way, the single. Way. Well, I was. Facing a couple, final stone, Sweden, Elizabeth Gustafsson. All the way down, Marmont, Pearson needs the inside roll too. And there it is. As Ray says, they've executed almost perfectly. And the scoreboard reflects it. 6-1 now, Sweden leading Canada through six of this women's semifinal. Here in Kamloops and the Ford Worlds. The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Star Choice, Canada's leader in digital satellite television. And by AT&T Canada. AT&T Canada, it's all within your reach. Well, it was quite an afternoon here at the Riverside Coliseum in Kamloops, the men's final. It was Canada against Sweden in the final, and Wayne Mada and his championship team. Oh, got a piece? Yeah, hold on to it. Don't drop it, Graham McCarroll. Ian Tetley. Scott Bailey from the St. George's. Golf and Country Club in Toronto claim the World Championship with a 7-4 win over the defending champion, Peter Lindholm. And the numbers indicative of not only the game, but the week. And a wonderful week for Wayne Madaw and the Canadian team as they are world champions. And we welcome Wayne to our booth. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Victor. Ah. Uh -huh. ah. Where have you been, my friend? <laughs> we don't have to worry about you moving into the broadcast booth. <laughs> yeah, it was just wonderful, Wayne. It was so exciting, you know, the whole thing. You know, I can't say enough about the way the guys, guys played in front of me. It was unreal. You know, Scott had another great game, a big final. And, uh, you know, for a guy who's never been to World Championship, never mm -hmm. been to Briar, to, to show up and play that well has been unbelievable. Same with Graham. Uh, just an unbelievable month of curling. I was saying uh, when we were talking about the two women's teams that Elizabeth Gustafsson has that winning quality, Wayne, that you talked about with your team. They play well for you in the big game. When the pressure's on, you know they'll be there for you. 
Yeah, Elizabeth uh, seemed to pull off a lot of wins, but uh, I was really impressed with Kathy's team and the way they played against Germany the other night. You know, they were really had their backs to the wall and uh, showed a lot of heart there by pulling off a big win right down to the last rock. And uh, that was something else to see them pull off that win, and that was pretty exciting for me. And, and maybe give us a bit of a boost to uh, help us go to, to win two more games. Louise Marmont. I was wondering earlier with Lyndon Ray if, in fact, the early... Oops. There. That's a break. You know, you can you can grow, climb back here. You just need a couple points and keep banging away. Go. I was wondering earlier if, if in fact, the mis I thought they were mistakes by both teams early in the game. Uh, you know, he had a chance. Uh, you had a chance early. He had a chance for three early mistakes. Was it the pressure of the moment, do you think? I didn't think the ice surprises a little bit. All week long, you could pretty much throw it into the frost. And the frost would grab it, and the rock would stop pretty quick. But today, uh, there's no frost. Well, there's a bit of frost, but it didn't grab the rock at all. If you threw it on top of the frost, it just kept sliding. And uh, it definitely surprised me, and it surprised Dean a few times. And, uh, you know, it, it took me to the 10th end to figure out what draw weight was, but it was a good timing. Well, I was going to say that that rock in 10, you drew into a position where Peter Lindhelm had no shot. He took a bit of a risk on his first one, playing a draw instead of a tap. But that was a very impressive shot of yours because you couldn't make a mistake. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. You know, we I decided right as soon as he threw the draw, I said to Graham, if it's more than half buried, I'm going to play the draw and uh, and make him make a great shot for the win or even for the tie because there's a lot more pressure on him to have his make his last shot. So uh, I happened to put it in a good spot where he had absolutely no shot, and uh, that was kind of nice. Well, you threw your draw in, in eight there all by yourself. Like you didn't get any help. With, <laughs> you didn't get any help with that one at all. I mean, you just, that's when you really found out what draw weight was, I guess. Eh? I made a bit of a mistake there. We were playing on the middle sheet, and uh, I thought the Ford emblem in the middle of the sheet were the circles, and I tried to draw to the Ford emblem, and uh, they carried it about the last 70 Did feet. Did they ever? Right out of your hand, too. <laughs> Scott told me after he said, I asked him about that shot on eight when they when they caught it right out of your hand. He said, I didn't even look at the watch. I just knew we had to go. Yeah. Louise Marmont. Trying to come off one. Make sure they pick it over. Keeping our eye on as well, the other semifinal as they play in the seventh. Denmark leading 3-2. Norway is lying one. Doherty Nordby with her final stone just played an in-off to get the shot stone. And now it's... Helena Black Larvison trying the same thing from the edge of the 12 to kill a stone on the edge of the button. If she can make the shot, Denmark could score four. And no, she'll sit right there. So a great shot results in one for Norway in a tie game. Doherty Nordby, the two-time world champion, playing Helena Black Larvison, the world champion as well from 1982. 3-3 as they go to eight. Brenda's been struggling with the uh, draw weight a little bit, but they got this online here. It was a great shot there by Brenda. You know, they didn't really need a three here to get back into the game. Yeah. And uh, and sitting here watching this, they've got uh, corner guard. They've got one in behind the corner guards. they got a good shot of getting a three here. So uh, and that would really help Canada. And if, uh, if any team has more heart than Kathy Borsch, I'd be surprised. Because if anybody can pull off a win out of this, Kathy can. So uh, she's in good shape. When you know what it's like, though, Kathy missed an open hit to give up that steal of three, and that's the first thing you have to do yourself as a skip is shake it off because it's not going to help you to dwell on it, but at the moment, it sure bothers you because it wasn't that tough a shot. Yeah, it's, it's really unfortunate, you know, stuff like that happens in curling, and uh, you're always going to second-guess yourself. Uh, you know, as long as you've ever curled, I think that's why curling is a great game. It is because it's... It's not that, that we talk about shots today, like three years from now, we'll talk about that draw that I threw in the eighth end that had no chance to get there and my sweepers made it to the rings and, and that was definitely the turning point for us. You know, there's always one little break like that that makes a difference in your week and uh, that was definitely the difference in our game today. As we get ready to play third stones here in the seventh, what are they lining up here, right? Well, they're concerned and they should be, obviously. It looks to me like, that, you know, like they're gonna take a run at this stone right here. Canada with the hammer here, trailing six to one. Roll over to the other side, hit that, and try and roll across. Canada with last rock on this end. They got uh, second shot rock. Katarina Nyberg.
and rolls it over. Elizabeth Parison just moved that stationary stone as she was sweeping, and that, they'll just make sure it goes back to the right spot. The level of competition, uh, Wayne, you found better or uh, the same as you might have expected coming in? Because I know sometimes the thought is at the world level that uh, it doesn't, as we have an umpire coming and somebody touch a stone, or is it a hog line? No, it's, it's the touch stone, touch as stone. we'll see in the sweeping. It's a sweeper on the left, Elizabeth Persson, when she's sweeping. This roll, she kicks the one that's in the 12-foot, and it's fairly critical because the two rocks in the 12-foot might be close as to who is shot. Competition the same, better than you thought? I think actually I was, uh, I was, you know, it, it was pretty what, pretty much what I expected. Uh, I've been lucky enough to play in a world championship before, and uh, I knew that the European teams were good, and, uh, and you know, right from Finland, which was, uh, you know, a great team and a, and a bit of a surprise this year to be in the in the medal standings, but. Uh, you know, Marco UC Pavellini had a great week, played well. Uh, I'm sure he surprised Scotland this morning by playing that well. And, uh, you know, he, he had a great week all week long. So. He's trying to make me look bad, isn't he? Yeah, he can say the name. <laughs> he can I say just the blew that name before he came up, so. <laughs> <laughs> but Ray and Linda pointed out sometimes that as a Canadian team, as Canadian skips, they sometimes won't play or don't do things that you might expect them, and that will often fool you. Yeah, a little bit, but, uh, you know, I've played enough around the world and, and around Canada to see just about everything, and uh, I was lucky enough, like, I, like I've heard a million times, to have that tutorage by Russ Howard, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there, there's nothing that really jumps out as me as a surprise. So, like I say, I was very fortunate to have the, the schooling that I did, and uh, to come to this, and, and nothing's new to me. It's, it's all something I've seen before from the, from the different tile of sweeping to the different rules we have at the World Curling Federation, and... And everything from a draw out of a hat from from <laughs> third to fifth place that goes back to something you said linda and ray about the fact that you know you have to come to one of these first and maybe at times that that has shown in the play of kathy borst well the, the experience i said there there's nothing like experience as a teacher for all the things that you learn about this sport and for kathy it was difficult they lost their first game to denmark who Lena block Lawerson, the most appearances by any skip here, so like that. that's a tough way to start, but they yeah. have bounced back well. They're just trying valiantly here because that guard now causes them a little bit of problems. You know, I don't think that loss at the, at the start of the week for Kathy. Kathy accomplished her goal. Her goal, of course, at the start of the week would be to make the playoffs. She's out here in the playoffs, and that's all you want. You know, the four rock rule, you're going to have plenty of chances. You know, there's a there's a million more rocks in play than what you'd ever want is a skip, and uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you know you basically hope you can do some with them. Heather Godberson. Whoa! Whoa! Curl! Curl! And across and through. Wayne, one of the things though that's impressed me uh, all year about watching your team, uh, you definitely have what I would call a game plan. You go into a game fairly aggressively at the start. When the ice conditions are the best, probably you want to try your, to take your chances. And to me, that was the thing that you stuck with this week. Even when teams maybe threw some different things at you, you stuck to your plan. Yeah, we definitely do. Uh, you know, as long as I've curled and, and being a bit of an ice maker, uh, I feel that the, the, the ice is at its best at the beginning of the game. Uh, you've just practiced on it for 10 minutes. Your whole team has a great feel for draw weight. Why not play hard on it now? Well, you know what draw weight is, you know what the ice is going to do, and, and try and gamble and score your points. Um, rather than, you know, throw it in the rings and hit for a couple ends, and, and a couple ends yeah, later the ice can change. I, I couldn't agree more. The way we're going to show you this, uh, this uh, beautiful, uh, evenly, softly thrown draw in the uh, <laughs> in the eighth end, one that uh, there was never any problem with, as you as you chased it down the ice. You can see me if, if you watch me from the hog line in. I'm pushing in. I keep pushing them to sweep harder. Yeah, I get push them once there. And I push them probably again. And that was for two to take the lead onto a 7-4. Win. If Ian's 10 pounds lighter, I don't make that. <laughs> <laughs> now you go back home and uh, a new job. Yeah, back to uh, back up to Midland Golf and Country Club. Uh, actually, looking forward to the summertime and, uh, and uh, just enjoying and uh, enjoying this World Championship and being known as that for a year from now. And uh, you know, if I can be half the champion that Peter Lindholm was, that'll be uh, that'll be really great for our team. And I find it ironic that you're just down the road uh, from uh, your former skip, another World Champion. Yeah, Russ and I actually uh, we spent a lot of time together, and Glenn and I and. Uh, 
you know, it's, it's kind of nice that I'm still really good friends with them because a lot of teams break up and they're still not that good of friends. But uh, Russ and Glenn and I still spend a lot of time together. And that's really special, the fact that I that I could win a world championship with them and we're still best friends. And uh, I'd be willing to bet that uh, 10, 20 years from now, that the three guys that I won with today were still best friends. And then, of course, you'll turn your attention to the uh, the gold trail and making money. And uh, as Briar winner, yeah. McCain TSN skins game. Do I get to go back to that yeah, again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Darn again, huh? To be played in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland yeah. in December. And we'll look forward to having you there. Looking forward to my ninth trip in a row to the Skins game. <laughs> Trying to get the center line corner covered of that one in the house to prevent a hit and roll. I have to say, things aren't looking great here, but uh, if she makes a good shot here, there's a chance for a really big end. Do you like, like, um, boards? I'm not sure what she's going to play, but there's... You know, she's got the hit and roll off the outside one to get another one buried, and yeah, uh, she'll have the raise on her last one, maybe to get a three or a four, and, or she can play it now. And, it, but but there's a chance like for a big end, and uh, you know that's well, all Kathy hopes for right now. Across this way, you can nick it at least over into here. You could be sitting. You Everybody's know. Everybody's looking at the angle, right. Sweden yeah. included, yeah. of course. We the two and roll over to this way. You're going to at least be in here, all right? Okay. Yellow rock out in front. To play, then. Like board. I like board. I don't think we can. You know, we got to hit that enough to move that out. So. Right. I'd like easy hit at least. Good move here, isn't it? Oh, nose is five. I don't know. They. You guys right on the nose. What she's saying. The draws out here. I was given like here, and they weren't moving. The took, took forever to come over. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Easy hit. Yeah. You might go with this yellow, yellow over here, right? On to this. You guys see anything? No. Better just squirt it though across the face because it can always go onto the other, other red over there, right? Yeah. Better not call it too tight on. There haven't been too many times when your team hasn't executed well, but what do you do as a skip when, in fact, if you're borst and you know your team isn't, what can you do to get them refired? <laughs> Especially in a game where you expect them to come out and. Uh, to be playing well. You call the, the Olympic trials and you go on to the next week. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, and win a world championship. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Catch it. Oh. What a shot. Oh, nice shot. Absolutely. The double raise to lie shot stone and covered. And third shot as well, which is is really important here. That's a great shot by Kathy. Yeah. It sure is. Shot. And it's covered completely. You can see she catches catches it absolutely perfect. A touch on the outside, across onto the Yellowstone, removing the red, and watch the uh, shot roll across. Yeah. And that yellow shot is right behind a long guard. The Yellowstone you're looking at now is completely protected. But not only is she shot, she's third shot. Third shot, as well. absolutely, right. yeah. And the guard out front is the one that Elizabeth just threw, of course, trying to protect her own rock in the rings. Victor, to answer your question, I think that's exactly what you have to do right there. You have to make a big raise takeout to get your team back motivated. And, uh, you know, if you can pull off another big shot, you can get us three points and get yourself back in the game. And it just proves to the rest of the team you're not out of it, huh? She made a big shot to get her one point back there a little while ago. She yeah. rolled from the 12 foot yeah, to the did she ever. That was the That was the game right there. And if you look down on the sheet on sheet B, uh, the Swedish team already has their skips rock flipped uh -huh. over. Uh, being from uh, Ontario or Canada, we would never do that in a million years. Linda, Linda just mentioned that. Yeah, I talked about it. Remember in uh, Vancouver when the air temperature was so extremely high, it actually warmed the surface That's and right. slowed the rocks down. And the longer Elizabeth thinks thinks about this shot, the, the more that rock's going to warm up, and uh, and the tougher it is for her to get me to make a shot. And she's probably going to play a draw here, looking at the situation, try to get another one into the four foot area to yeah. prevent a big end. Surprised nobody's ever told them that. 
You know about turning the stones over. Well, it's not a major factor in a curling club or something, but it certainly no. is in an arena where you have all the lights. And, yep. and we've already talked in the reading the ice segment and after that about how the how the uh, frost eats up the pebble on the outside and the in the center of the ice gets warmer and it straightens out a little bit as the game goes along, changes throughout the game. It's a big draw. You happen to yeah, miss one this. One of the few times where Sweden has been under some pressure, Elizabeth Gustafsson. And it's only her second draw of the game. Now they do use stopwatches and they do watch all the rocks to get a feel for it. Pearson is on the left, Marmont on the right. The time looks good. Got it by. Nyberg will jump out as well. Can they draw it in? No. Oh, was it a warm rock and dug in? Could be. Could, could be because the uh, the rock really slowed too. Here's that, a hit for three. That could definitely be the difference. You know, it's only two, three feet of difference, and uh, the time that rock was upside down could be the difference. Okay. It's gonna move. Yours moved here last time. You don't think that's enough? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> On the nose. Like easy hit. Well, a, this is a very big shot for this young lady. He'll put her right back in the contest. Red guard out in front that they'll have to try and sneak it by. Now, the unfortunate takeout she missed was an intern, but she seems to have straightened out the problem since then. Final stone Almost for control. Canada here yes. in seven. Trailing yes. six to one. Yes. Chance for three here. Now it's up to Bomer. Horn. Move over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Called well by Godverson. For three. Put it on the board. The game is on, Victor. Canada is back in it. Six to four. I just say anyway, but Kathy's not going to want me to leave. I commentate one in, she scores a three. Oh, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Bors' parents in the crowd, Mom, June, Dad, Gord. Please pass along our thanks, Wayne, our congratulations for being so cooperative. Wayne Mada, have a wonderful summer. World champion here at the Ford Worlds in Kamloops. Confidence is a funny thing. Who knows what that first stone, that double angle yeah. raise meant now, yeah. though she's full of confidence with her last one. She threw it right up the stick. We saw earlier she was a little bit inside on these. This intern is perfect. They sweep it to hold the line. And she sticks it for three. Six to four now. Sweden leading Canada as Canada fighting their way back after trailing five nothing. Going to eight here in the women's semifinals of these Ford Worlds in Kamloops. The other semifinal featuring Denmark and Norway in a 3-3 tie as they play the eighth. It's the final stone for the Danish skip, Helena Black Larvison against Dordi Nordby. Both teams six and three in round robin. Denmark at one point led it three to one, but one in six, a steal of one in seven by Norway, even it up. Till this point in eight. When Laverson, the silver medalist in Nagano, makes the draw for two and a 5 3 lead. Norway, Nordby with the hammer to play nine. Well, momentum's a big thing in every sport. I don't care uh, what, uh, what uh, game you're playing, and, and the momentum switch like that, you can feel it, you can see it sometimes. And Kathy made a big shot there. She's got a couple rocks out in front now. and. And uh, she's got the momentum uh, on her side. She's down two. Playing eight. Kate put up two nice front stones. That's what you need from your lead on the comeback trail. And this four rock rule, as we've all said, gives you chances. This was playing the tap back on this, it looks like. And this, the Swedish lead, Elizabeth Persson. 
Okay, men jag ska trycka lite igen så det blir nog bra. There are going to be rocks in play and that's what Kathy needs desperately. Nice tap back too. Bra Elisabeth, bra Elisabeth, fint. To the button. Sweden with the hammer here in eight. Brenda struggling a little bit more so with her weight than anything else today. They mentioned the last and they wondered about one of her stones. Mm -hmm, I heard so them say that. It's hard to tell. Back line. Yep. Back line. Close. Yep. 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 Back oh. in. Yeah. Three. Three. It's got a great line if they've got the weight to move it enough. Whoa, Whoa just top. Whoa. Just, wow, did that come down? Back just eight. Back weight was down. fine. Just down big. I'm pretty just, sure it must be the stone because the sweepers called it the far hog line that it had back 12 weight. And then as it came down the ice, they kept adjusting it. And at the end, it wasn't very much weight at all. No, for sure. Of all the players here, when you look at plus minus, that's when you get a plus of the Oak Curl, the opposing player in any given game. Louise was the highest. That's what I talk about with her determination. Oh, but she won't like that one. And the hard part for Brenda, if it is one stone sliding a little bit differently, is you're constantly making that adjustment. Top eight. Come on. No line yet. No line. Top eight. No, Megan, it's, in the, it's in the quick spot. Coming down. It's in the quick spot. Brenda Coming Bowman. Down. In the Whoa. quick spot. Whoa. Whoa. Where are we? T. I think it's four foot. T. Sit. Oh, and that yep. just won't stop. She's throwing that two rock and that's that cutter. You guys have to tell me. Well, I don't know. We don't know. Okay? It's a cutter, too. Oh, just tell you this, eh? That two okay. rock is a cutter. A cutter. Email from Thunder Bay brought to you by AT&T oh, Canada. With these ice conditions, would a horse hair or a hog hair synthetic room be more effective? Well, we've talked about this before on the show, uh, Johnny. It's, uh, we think that as the frost creeps into the, into the ice surface, we think that... Uh, uh, the uh, horse hair, uh, the, the, the brush is a little more effective getting down into the pebble and scrubbing out the frost. That, uh, it's something that's never really been proven, but we, we, we feel that way. Sweden using the synthetic brush. Marmont got one and it'll go across the face of the other. But shots don't as Canada's. But there are three reds all around the edge of the 12. Well, it, it's certainly do or die time. Canada cannot worry about those three no. red stones no, collecting. Wow, what a reversal from that round robin game where Heather had such an edge. Katarina Nyberg with wonderful numbers there. No bigger shot for Heather than the one she's got right in her hand now, Linda. She's got to sink this behind that long yellow guard. They'll be lying to. Lots of room. room. Got tea to pour. Front pour. No, coming, coming down. down. Eight. Got lots of room tea. still. Whoa, 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 whoa. Room, room, whoa. room, room. Same as yours. Oh, yes. lots of room. Yes. Take it back. Buy it by at least okay, six inches, half a foot, you know. Top four. Double there. Kate and Brenda are using the horsehair brushes. They switched earlier in the week. She can see this now, so she'll come down. Try and get this here, over into here. They're trying to double. Get them both. That's Katarina Nyberg, and that's why her number is at 90% plus.
It actually went straight. As I have talked in the past, that spot is a little bit tricky, but at the end it broke and they were a little concerned it would curl too much, but they caught enough of both of them to move them out. Sweden sitting four now. Boy, this is. Left. Get room. This is really dangerous stuff now Hold for Canada. The can. They have no Lots choice. Of room. The can. Way out there. Whoa. Hold. No, she's got to get, get unsunk. Lots of room. The only choice is to bring it Come deep whoa. if you're concerned whoa, about it not whoa, curling whoa, and then hope for a nose whoa. hit. Freeze. She got Freeze. by last time, remember, by about six inches. About the same Freeze. again. Freeze. And she'll just okay. get it full top four. That one finished a little bit better, though. Linda mentioned the last one straightened up a little bit. Okay. So I could look for a moment that she was on uh, more than the, the tick double, but it, uh, so you got to be careful with this shot. You can't be overthrowing it. She's played really well today. Out of her hand, though, Marmont and Harrison jump it. Tight center line guard. Have they got it by? A little rub, catch the stone, no. Just a little rub, straightened it out, and Canada's lying one. At least if we sit one right there, we can bump it. Kathy's fighting back in the game, and her numbers are coming right up. All we need is one. Yeah, but I just see that six, it's like six under two. Fine, let her play it, and then we've got the bump Kay. back. Kay. This one broke early, and they really swept it okay. to hold the line and couldn't quite. And for Sweden, that's the worst thing, not to move the front stone very much at all mm -hmm. and to miss the back one, but it gives Kathy Borst a chance now. Heather wanted to bring it right in, uh, wanted to bring it right into this area here. I know it sets the possibility if you don't do, make it right, setting up a double. Great, if we come right in right now, we're going to lose them both. So I like to just sit one just, just tied to the house. So Kat, you heard what Kathy said. Uh, what what Heather was afraid of was this one. here. Was the raise on the outside one. But, uh, down here? Yeah, it's faster on the You can see, you can see half the stone. It's playing a guard. Yeah. Is there one right or wrong here, or would you come in? Well, it would be nice to come in if you knew oh, that it would good. curl. Lines I think good. Kathy's concerned yeah, of setting up yep. a double, yep. which is yep. fair because this yep. only breaks late hard. if you have hard. the perfect hard. weight. Hard. Hard. Hurry. 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 Whoa. 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 I think almost I like you felt see. like the crowd expected okay. them to be Stop. dragging it in. They may be a little surprised by the guard Stop. call. Yeah. That's not where you want the guard, though. They wanted it tight in case a raise is made by Elizabeth or coming off something. Then they could have tapped that yellow one up very easily. Gustafsson winning a world championship in 95. Her second, then she knows that a third would mean a lot to the sport in Sweden. I mean a lot to the curling in Sweden. To, to do a very good result here because we have already got a lot of attention. The sport has got a lot of attention and I think this would make, make it really for the curling to be big in Sweden. So I would say that now I, I am competing and playing more for, for the game and for, for the sport in our country than for myself. Wonderful attitude, Elizabeth Gustafsson. Yeah, she's a wonderful person. She's just so nice, Linda. She is. This is a big decision for Sweden. Well, they're looking at this here. And they would definitely went over and looked at raising this one here, back into this area here. Without another yellow stone in play, it's a very dangerous situation. There's a number of options she has. You know their concern if they try the raise back now. If they don't make it, Kathy Boris comes in and sits right on top of her own and has a chance for a steal of two. 
Now, does it does it run straight just in the forefoot area? I mean, if she went out a little further outside the forefoot, would it break harder for her? Drawing in? I don't think so. No. They were looking at this, but that's really dangerous because even if you made the double raise well and you got back into this area, then the, the yellow stone could come off into this area here and, and, and destroy this situation. Mm. This is the rock if you're going to raise for sure, is trying to hit this one here back into this, into this area here and hope that it doesn't go over here, jam someplace. It's setting up well for Sweden. If she misses this, it's setting up very well for, for Canada. Canada. Canada, a steal possibility. You're always nervous, though, especially if you're playing guys like Wayne Madaw. <laughs> you're, you're always nervous if, you know, you only got the one shot in the rings and you're protecting, you're protecting, you're protecting. Interesting how Wayne, when he was with us, he picked up on the rock being turned over. And in fact, maybe that did affect that final stone for Sweden's Elizabeth Gustafsson. Well, they clean it for her, but they should just, uh, you know, uh, as he mentioned, any little bout of heat can affect the running surface. So. Here's the first stone for the Swedish skip in eight. Angle raise to the top four foot. Wow. And she's got it. And Sweden is lying four. Yeah. Uh, Kind of why I, I really feel you had to come in, but it's just so easy after, isn't it? Great shot. Yeah, 95% on her hits, and this one's a 100%er, right on the button. And well called by Katharina Nyberg. Okay, that's all she's got is to get around here. Try and get it right into this area here. Could you play the in off too? You could, but uh, it's a draw. Even if you get it uh, half behind and you're uh, in front of the red in the eight foot and you're in front of that red stone that's in the four foot, uh, you can hold the end to one. She's played so many hits as you could see and think back to all the terrific hits she's made. Horn, Homer for line. Can they sneak it by the guard? They gotta get it by the guard first. Get it by, drag it by, still has some. There was a rub. Now where will it stop? Look at this. Well, I don't think there was a rub, was there, pal? Did she rub it? Oh, I think she rubbed it. Oh. Regardless of whether she did, it's a great shot. Do you think, I don't think she you rubbed it. You don't think it rubbed it? Oh, I may get back at you right Ooh. here this early. <laughs> let's look at it again. Oh, I thought it rubbed. Well, let's watch, Linda, because if he's wrong here, <laughs> that'll teach you to call that Marku, whatever his name is. <laughs> Did you think it rubbed? I don't think it rubbed. Okay. It no continued rub? to curl. That's what makes it look like it did. And I know I, the bodies were sort of in the way, Vic, so it was tough to see exactly Thanks, what happened. Thanks, Linda. Linda, come on. Trying to help you both out. There was no rub. To the button. She draws to the button. We're doing the best we can. Hang in here. You bet you are. Wonderful shot. It is Kathy. a wonderful shot. Wonderful shot. Brenner. Bren. Come off your own. That's what Linda is saying. I'll just do that again. I think she might be just playing to tap it. Boy, with that one getting by, so close to rubbing if it didn't rub. <laughs> this would be tough. This would be very tough. You'd have to move it just to the back of the forefoot. That thing is buried. She has to move it two feet to get uh, a deuce. Two and a half feet, actually. Well, now they are talking about the in-off.
Jag tycker det känns... Jag är så rädd att jag ska bara liksom komma upp och peta den inåt. Att jag känns som att jag... Ja, det känns som att den är något lätt mindre. Ja. Playing the enough? I think so. Now, how difficult is it because of the angle of the stones? It's a difficult shot. It's a very steep angle. And it curls quite a bit here. You just made a big angle raise, so. She, you know, she can see that this, if she could ever make this, it's the game. The game is over. As Kathy Bohr said, they've done their best to keep themselves alive. She made a wonderful draw to Catch the button yeah. for shot stone. Yeah. Elizabeth Gustafson with Marmont yeah. and Pearson out front. Off and across. No. And Canada will steal one. It's a one point game. <laughs> Kathy Borst. Canada within one. Labatt Blue Jays baseball, Sunday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time. That's Easter Sunday. Blue Jays and Texas Rangers, and then Sunday night baseball. Houston, the Astros, and the Dodgers. That's it. Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Well, Canada's back into it with the steal of one after trailing 5 0. It's now 6 5. Sweden leading as we go to the ninth also on the ice the other women's semi-final Denmark Norway Denmark leading 5-3 final stone for Doherty Nordby Denmark is lying one buried this is the angle raise to kill them both and maybe count one that's at the back 12 but it's a steal of one for Denmark 6-3 Helena Black Laverson leading as we go to nine well sensational draw by uh by Kathy to get that to the top of the button and, and uh, Elizabeth just didn't take enough ice for the shot that she was playing you know if those are hard shots to make at the best of times but she needed, uh, needed a little more ice than that and it curled too much so Kathy will keep just keep coming it's uh, working so far yeah that scoreboard that comeback is a sign of determination good shot making but also a little help from the four rock rule and some rocks in play and Kathy knows when you're trying to steal, you get two out in front and they still can't peel. Elizabeth having a quick look at the time clocks at the moment, they're not pressed for time. The Swedes, however, have played some four minutes slower how big does that hit and roll in the fifth end to get her single point look now Linda and it was such a hard shot think of the difficult shots Kathy's made since uh, they had that huge deficit five nothing against them she's made wonderful shots Just a quiet tap back, she says to Brenda. Pump it back onto this one. Back line. Brenda Boomer. Are you slower? And this is the cutter. The rock they think is curling uh, more than the other one. And seems to be slowing as well, so mm -hmm. the ice has to be adjusted by the skip and the Back weight line. by Brenda. No line at all. Back line. Nothing. Oh. Maybe just too much adjustment. Okay. Oh. Too much weight too. It's hard when you're worrying about the stones being different. Sometimes you overthink that difference. Anywhere short is fine, though, even on that shot. You just can't, I mean, throw it through like that. 
you're trying to make the shot so perfectly. Yeah. Louise Marmont. Now they get a chance to peel. And they'll get one. Hey, Brenner, here we go. Sit straight on it. Little bump is fine. I don't think it curled as much as she thought. This is the turn with the most curl of the two coming to center. This is still holding a lot of movement. Tight. You gotta go. Hard. Help. Help. Three. Three. Want this right up tight to those stones in the rings. Tight as you can get it. Tight as you can get it. That's all right. Okay. Get them both. Well, I'll definitely try and get the one near center what? line. Louise Marmont. That's a nice and shot. And all the way out the back. It's a great shot. I knew they had to get the one off center line and that they could get a little bit of action, but to move it that far. Great shot making. And Elizabeth had lined up the angle well, hitting that center line one first, oh, no, no, bouncing the other, and then ready oh, to sweep okay. it. Nose. Nose. Avoiding the jam, and it'll just go out the back. Hit it on the nose. You can lie too. Control weight. Control. With the guards gone, the objective changes a little bit. If you can force Sweden to take a point here and hold the hammer coming home, it's not such a bad situation anymore. Oh, Homer and Horn on the nose for the double. Get out, 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 out. And out it goes, and they are lying too. Nice shot by Heather. Yeah, you could force her to take one here, Linda. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Back one biting. Sweden with the hammer and leading 6-5. Eh? Give credit to the sweepers, too. They've held the line on a lot of shots. Think of that draw last in, and they held the line well on that shot. It's the point of the game where sweeping may be a huge factor. Yeah. 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 Out of her hand. Yeah. Yeah. Marmont, yeah. Pearson yeah. called yeah. on. The guard for sure. Whoa, 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 Well, I had those two because if we leave, if you try no. and freeze on it, then she's going to be hit yeah. three. Right? She knows if it was one behind. Yeah. Well, I don't know how close that one on the front is, but she, obviously she. Uh, yeah! Yeah! Going to hit it. If she hits it on the yeah! nose, that'd be great for you. They're trying to roll to the left. They definitely don't want to leave it there and just hit the back one. Then it's an easy tap or come around. She's lined up the double. Got the angle to get them both. No, she'll jam it. Oh, 
Jammed it perfectly. Okay, Katie threw a corner guard here. She threw about center, and that's where about it ended. So let's just make sure we get by it. Top eight is fine. Yeah. We've never drawn this from Kevin's We've never, no, we've never drawn this block. Only me on the guard. Top eight here. Looks like a little bit too much ice action. You just have to be sure that they can't get a hit and roll. I know Kathy's concerned about the ice, and you don't want to groom it too tightly because look at that opponent's stone is so tight to the rings. Just need a corner around that guard so they can't hit and roll. Forced in her Look first. Away. Room, room, Look room. Away. Close. Room, room. Lots of room. Wall, room. Wall, wall, wall. Wall, 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 wall. Wall, wall, wall. Front, house. 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 Yep. 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 Very nice shot. Quarter of a stone buried. Edge of the four. It looked like a lot of ice, but Two semifinals in play on this Saturday night here in Kamloops. <laughs> on the left, Denmark and Norway. I like teasers. I don't mind that. Yeah, this is Sweden and Canada. Two winners to meet tomorrow for the Women's World Championship. Norway with the hammer and down. Cross. Gonna get it? No, it'll roll by the Canadian Stone back 12. Well, they couldn't really afford to sweep it because it took so long to come over, but if they swept it a tiny yeah. bit at the end, they would have got the double on the back one. If they're brushing it right here to hit it a touch thinner. Okay. Hit it Did thick. Sweep that? Sorry? No. Not really. Uh, eh? Cleaned it. Okay, if I throw less, it maybe it'll curl more. Be well, this is a good right? chance to put some more pressure on the Swedish skip, and she's had some tough shots to make lately. Linda made a great one to in the eighth, but then Kathy made one a little better, and the in-off didn't work, so you steal a point. Now, if you can just bury this behind yeah. the guard this time, no, make her draw no, right same, to the forefoot. Oh, got the same. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Clean. Tea whoa. line. Whoa. Tea line. Whoa. Room, 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 room. Oh. No, and this is where it starts right to move. Once it hits yep. center line, it bend starts it. to go. Bend it. Yep. Yep. Yes. Hurry. Bend it, bend it, bend it. Hurry. Okay. Stop. Well, she's forcing Sweden to take a single here. Same way. And she has to make a good Same shot to get way. it. Hit and stick. Your two down coming home with the hammer. Shoot. Sorry. Oh, that one didn't curl. Our statistician, Sophie Campbell, that. points out that. that the previous best comeback for Canada was 95, the World Championships, when Connie Laliberti trailed 7-2 to Lisa Schoenberg from the U.S. came back to win 10-9. So Laliberti made up a difference of five. Sweden had an early five, nothing here. Big shot for Elizabeth. Take you two up lead going home. Nice shot. Nicely done. To get the one. And a 7-5 lead. And quickly to Denmark, Norway in the 10th. And Norway. Down 6-3. They need to count both of their last stones. 
Nice shots by Helena to uh, get herself out of a bit of trouble there. And she has shot rock, so Doherty has to decide if she's going to deal with it now. You come down quietly, as you mentioned, Linda, and hit this here, out, and just roll in here to be second shot. This is a tough shot to get at them from way out here. Silver medal at Nagano, Helena black of Denmark. And she's ridden that confidence to second place here. Everyone trailing Sweden who finished top of the table at eight and one. Anna Woods with the uh, plumb line brush for her skip Dordi Nordby. Dordi's another one of those big game players and that shot she made in seven to steal a point really has kept them in this game even though they're down three now it could have been much worse. Marianne Haslam is closest to the stone Kristen Loveseth. Lead with his team from the Snarren Curling Club in Oslo. Just playing the freeze, trying to force Helena to make a good shot. Just needed to curl a little bit more and sit on the face. Just the same, not a bad shot. The shot she's going to hit is in the open. It's, you can see all of it, but it is way out in the, in, in the frost line. Now, we don't know how bad that frost line is. We haven't been on that sheet. She's going to be careful not to hit it on the outside and drive it across. Tenth end is underway in our game, and the Swedes have thrown their first stone through. Canada with the hammer. Down by a pair. All the way. This is Kate Horn. All the way, Kate. All the way. Canada. All the way. Good shot by Kate. Hard. Nice. Keep going. Nice corner guard. Front. So a chance for Denmark and Helena Black Laverson to run Norway out of stones here in 10. <laughs> to advance to Sunday's championship final here at the Ford Worlds. Lisa Richardson on the left. Dorte Margit Portner is on the right. Dorte Holm calls the line. There it is. Now will she look at this to see if there's any way of getting her three in there? I don't know. And right beside you can see the Swedish lead. Elizabeth Pearson tried the tick, missed, so the corner stays up for Canada. Authority will probably take a run at that front when she has to make a triple with the rock that's raised and she has to roll the shooter in it. It's a long shot, of course. Kate Horn. Another corner to the other side now. Easy. Take a look. Whoa. Take a look. Gotta come off the yep. line yep. first. Yep. 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 Even at least. That one kind of hung on the center line. It's been a very good comeback by Canada, even forcing Sweden to take that point in nine. Canada played a good end. Louise Marmont. Yeah, 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 Now, Doherty Nordby and her Final stone. Trying to make something out of nothing. 
She'll get one. Denmark is through to the final. Denmark will win it 7-3, the final score. Pardon me, 6-4, the final score with one for Norway as we return to Brenda Bomer. So Denmark and Helena black Cloverson are through to Sunday's final. Very big game for Denmark. Denmark was talking to Tom Stern and he was saying that if she happened to win tonight, they're going to televise that game live back to Denmark on a Sunday night. This is which is the largest uh, viewing audience uh, they have during for the whole week. It's always their Sunday night over there. So it's a, a wonderful uh, win for, yep, yep, yep. for Helena. Yep. And, and it'll be a great boost again for curling in that uh, small little country. Well, you got the two. <laughs> Got the two corner guards now, Linda. One's way over, but it's a corner guard. It has been a terrific year for Helena with that silver medal in the Olympics, and now the final at the World Championships, all in the same year. Sweden hit and stuck. That's the red rock you see on the one side. So Kathy's got her two guards now. If she can just get a couple rocks in behind them. Get it around? No. Okay. Yeah, they're talking about that stone. It's just Brenda's struggled with it all, all day, and it is hard to do that. You got one that's slower than another. Linda, can we find any fault in their choice of rocks? Because we know they can choose them. Uh, does this come down to some? Some bad selection, some bad charting through the week, do you think? I guess they didn't pick up the stone that uh, Brenda is throwing during the week. As we see, again, good numbers from Katarina Nyberg. They chose from sheets B and D, and I guess they looked at shooting percentages and didn't see that that one was a problem. Katarina is going to try and hit the one in the house and kick the one over that's just outside if she can. Actually, Sweden should probably sweep yes, that one. Yes, they should be sweeping that. It's wise of Kathy to leave it there. Now you can just get one half behind. You got one behind it. We saw earlier in the week a couple times those things end up being very important. 100%. Canada down by a pair. They have the hammer here in 10. Trying to make the comeback complete. Can't bring it back then. Can't do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a good shot. Mira. I'm in there. So, uh, uh. Okay. Rock Katharina Nyberg, and it's gotten very quiet here in the Riverside Coliseum. Marmont, Harrison. Got it by, they do, right on the nose. But she sits right there, and that's absolutely perfect for Canada. Absolutely perfect. How do you use it? <laughs> Come down now into this area here. You can start some rocks and play by sitting right on top of that. And if you get some rocks build up in there, there are three rocks to come. 
Oh, oh, Last of the third stones, That's Heather Godverson. Yep. Right up on top. Sit. Great shot. Just had to curl a little bit more, Linda. It's a comeback for Canada. It's a huge comeback for Skip Kathy Borst after some early errors. Right even now with the Swedish Skip. Can I get one, Heather? 55. She'll try and hit it. Get a little action on trying to hit it a little bit on this side. Squeeze it this way. Just curls a little bit more, Linda, just a little bit, just a couple of inches. Now, Katarina Nyberg appeared to be a little bit inside on her hit, so mm -hmm. it really curled. Uh, we'll be interested to see if this one, if Elizabeth is right up the stick, curls the same. Mm -hmm. She's got to throw some weight if she's expecting to uh, move it. Okay, Matt. Yeah. Elizabeth Gustafson. Stumble by Marmont. The jam. Well, if you can exchange some stones, there's your tie game. I think Elizabeth just had too much ice. Yeah. You have to make a decision here. You're going to try and hit and spread them out for the safer two or try for three. Even if we sit here, that's better, isn't it, than over here? No, this way's better, because then she can't do the double. This, if you sit on this side, she can do the double, right? Yeah, that's true. If you sit on this side, she can't. Okay. Just going to okay. freeze to we it. We want to be right on the nose of it, yep. right? This, on this side of it, it'll be a little yep. bit better. Okay, what was it doing here? Well, it, it takes its time, but it, it busts. It, takes, it goes over there. It looks like lots, eh? Yeah. It should be good. Freezing on the face indicates she's going for the win. Well, she's trying to prevent the double takeout in this case. She feels that spreading them out may be too dangerous. Well, well she makes the perfect sweet uh, right? sweet no, <laughs> free on legger. <laughs> Freeze here. Then uh, Sweden's going to have to make a decision as too as well. Uh, That's right. Hit the other yellow. Hit the open yeah, one or go for the extra end. Yeah. Kathy's dad, Gord, had the Canadian flag up and waving as his daughter gets ready to throw her first here in 10. They just freeze on it. She's made some great shots in the last half of this game. And it started with five and the one in the fifth. Mine's huh? good. Gotta be here, Hit girls. Roll against three. Yep. It's turned around Grind the game. Around, Canada good. looking to tie it here, possibly wall, wall, win it with three and wall, ten. Wall. You gotta be to it. You gotta be yeah. to it. You gotta be to it. Horn and higher. Bomer. Ah, uh, now the separation. Does that hurt? Well, you would, you'd rather not have it, but. Uh, Sweden's got to be so careful here. Well, there's a mistake possible, that's Absolutely. for sure. Absolutely. It turned out to be a really interesting game, and after being down 5 nothing, really have to give uh, Kathy Borst uh, The Canadians a, a lot of credit for just never giving up and fighting back. This is a fairly thin double. Ooh, is it ever? And if you uh, if you just get the one out and jam on the other one, it's likely that Canada still has the chance for two. So I'm assuming she's playing it thinly and trying to get them both. I guess so. With that ice, I guess she is. If you hit this uh, quarter of the stone, you'll roll, you'll jam it, roll over, and Canada will draw for three. I think it's a leggy for Of her numbers, her hits have been better. She can't get this one inside. So with a surgeon's coolness, Gustafson throws her final stone up by two. Looking to, to get him. Has both. to curl. Oh, 
Boy, she almost threw it through the right hole. Right through the she hole. She, she, got, she got away with murder on that. Canada will get a chance to tie. That, you know, that's the danger because you're worried about hitting it more dead on and jamming, but look at this. She's, at this point, she's through the hole and she just takes it. If she goes through that hole, the game is uh, its going to be an open draw for three. And she gets away with the jam possibly on that red stone just sitting outside the 12 foot. Which is the one she didn't sweep out earlier. So a couple yeah. of very fortunate things have happened for Sweden and Canada has a chance for the tie, but not the win. It looked like for a moment, perhaps the win. A quiet tap now for the tie game and an extra end. Nope, it's a little more. It's 51. Room. 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 The split time by the front end says it's a little heavier. Horn, Bomer. Tap it back. They have to brush it now, I think. They have to brush it now. They trailed by five. They trailed by five. The comeback is complete. Can they steal it now in an extra end? is right, Heather Godverson. Canada has come back. We're all even, and we're going to an extra here in this women's semi of the Ford Worlds. Extra in tight 7 7. Canada coming back after trailing 5 0, and now they'll try and steal it. And they've stolen once this game. Can they steal another? Canada with a pretty good steal ratio. And look at the four against. Canada stolen 11 times during round robin play. And when you look at Sweden, of the playoff contenders, they've given up the most stolen ends. With the four rock rule, Leeds Rock so critical, Kate Horn can get two in front and they can try and set up this steal. Yep. Well, it's been just an unbelievable comeback, and it all started with an unbelievable shot to get a single point to make the score five to one. Sweden will try the tick, the elusive tick. And it's all to see who will play Denmark in the final. And this is where I firmly believe you should play this to move those stones around. Now, I don't know how much weight they're playing, but this is an extra end. You need to open up the forefoot, if nothing else, even if you tap stones into the rings yeah. on the sides. Yeah. 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 That's a straight spot. Elizabeth Pearson won't get anything. That's quite something for numbers for boy, Kate. Oh boy. That's curling, isn't it? Pretty good recovery on that wobble for Elizabeth. Did Isn't she get the stone back though? Isn't momentum a funny thing? Oh, it just switched. There's a nice looking shot. Oh, bro. 
When you look at that scoreboard and you see who did the scoring in which half of the game, Ray, you're right. It's uh, it's been mostly Canada mm -hmm. in the second half. Out in front. Sweden 5-1 yep. through the first five. Yep, Canada 6-2 through the last five. 14. Sweden can start to peel after this guard, so that's why they'll try and get as much separation as possible with these Canadian guards. Just over, you want it as high as possible. Nice shot by Brenda. back and get more than one no she'll drive it through the hole and leave the shooter covering the edge of the floor oh, I really think peeling that one off directly was maybe a better plan you can go now you can go Heather, come here. I got 10 minutes to play this extra end, and I think this is a good idea. This is a very key part of this end. That's too long a guard to go around. So you want to try and bump that one up, or do you want to throw another guard up? I wouldn't be playing any raises. Yeah, and then if she knows it, then we've got two of theirs. Don't mind how it is. She might get the double peel, though. Well, then let's come up and play against theirs. Let's try and force them to get the double. Even if we come a corner on this one, sort of? Do you know what I mean? Corner on that one? No, I'm saying if you come in just behind it. You know? Okay, that's like right in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They come in this way here. They're not going. They could go to the house if they one. wanted, but this or is fine. In here is fine. Behind this one here. Yeah, this one's a little bit. Lindy, do you agree that the uh, the guard is too long to be of any kind of use? It is pretty long. Um, I, I do think that Sweden would be peeling the other one anyways, but... Uh, yep. I wouldn't play any kind of a raise, though. I can tell you that. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> Why is that? Leave well, the four-foot cover. It's okay, a good spot. Well, yeah. You don't want to, if you hit it wrong or something, Whoa. you just open the four-foot okay. up. Whoa! Oh, it's not curling yet. Finish it? No. Time for Sweden to have a talk. It's a mess. I'm sure they feel like things are just slipping away a little bit. Well, she's talking about trying to run this back and get some of these. I think for sure she should be trying to get this off of here somehow. And of course, there's the other option, I guess, if you, if you want to change your strategy and go, be the first to go. You can't make it turn like that, can you? Some of the ice you could. I think you've got to try and get them off the front, Vic. And, and hit the center one on the center, the one on the center line. If you were the first to go, Linda, either being aggressive or being silly. I think at this stage it's the wrong call. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's too me, me early. Too. Try and get this off. They can cross it, hit it on the side away from the broom, and perhaps get action on the other yellow one. Louise Marmont. And again, they'll find the hole. Exciting. Need another guard. One thing for sure, you know that it's looking get, get more and more like Elizabeth so is going to have to yeah. make her last in. rock, okay, yeah. Linda. And it could be a very tough draw. Kathy Borst has had nice draw weight. 
Heather Gobertson's first dome. Lots whoa, of rocks to whoa, come. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just clean whoa. it. Okay, Looks clean it then. Whoa. Clean? Looks like it's more than half. Whoa. A little more. Let it bend. Yep. 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 This intern is not curling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little bit. A little bit. I didn't curl as much as there. Even when she makes night shots, Heather looks disappointed. I know the rocks aren't that spread out, but uh, this stage it's a guard and they have to hit it just right. Katharina Nyberg. And this time she does make the double. Mm -hmm. Double kill. Just wondering if that one touched the bumper. They'll check with the official at the back. I might have been tempted to go in with one of those ones of uh, oh, the four foot and hope to get it buried and maybe Sweden would run off the red one you can guard it better or, the, or then you at least to have a path with the out with the out turn around the one that's on the center line. Yep, yep. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I hate to see hurry. these double peels. Hurry, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. If you just get it behind there a little bit, that's okay. a good shot. Well, I'll tell you what, doesn't it indicate as well that there is movement there? Yes. I mean, you can get it buried. You gotta get to that center line, then it goes. The intern of the two turns does have the most curl going this direction from outside in. Nu spelar den här handen igen. Mycket ser du här? Inte så mycket. Ja, så precis så. Ja, spelar ganska bestämt så där. Nej, vänta nu, vilken hand ska du spela? En out hand. Vilken hand, Elisabeth? En sån va? Alltså en out hand. En in hand. Oh, can you spell us walk, sir? You better get this straight. Oh, Katarina was ready to throw the out turn. Elizabeth wants the intern. Okay, you spell us all. We said an out hand. Ah. No, they've changed their mind now. The out turn for Katarina Nyberg. Let's go, Carlo. Carlo, a little bit. Let's go, Carlo. And right on the nose. Now you got the raise. Or the come around. I'm not sure going to the out turn was the best choice. I know they had a chat about it, but it, uh, it ran very straight. Okay, I like the bump. It doesn't finish enough in here. We're going to just be showing or something. There's no question about that. You got the bump. And that's what they're talking about. You heard Heather say, I like the bump. Finishing good. Back here. Kathy said, this is finishing well. I like maybe to come around. I like the bump. Looks. It definitely curls. Every uh, takeout even we've seen down this yeah. spot did curl. But both shots are good. bust. You're right. It does move, but it doesn't. Okay, but we have to it doesn't think. finish. What I'm saying, it won't finish around here. It will move across. I don't think it'll finish through here. We have to be careful when we bump rocks. So the ones out front, remember, they finished like yeah. in the house, kind of yeah. almost. Yeah. Crowd at the Riverside Coliseum. Getting behind this Canadian skip as she gets ready to throw her first in this extra tied 7-7. Nobody has left, I'll tell you. They've hung no. in there. Anybody at home, at home after five will they're, be sorry. They're watching now. <laughs> yeah. You look at the numbers, no matter what numbers you talk about, fifth end on, Kathy's shots have been Ooh. remarkable. 
saving the game and then setting them up to claw back to this extra end. You want this raised straight back or angled back? Is yep. anywhere good here? Yeah, to the, foot, to the forefoot. Yeah. Once it's fully yeah. covered, you're going to... Yeah, yeah! Wait! Yeah! Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. whoa. Overhorn back off whoa. now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They brushed it early. Did they hold it up? Just had to curl a little bit more, and it's perfect. Then Heather had them on them a little too quick. I know, it didn't finish. But she's right, it didn't it didn't finish very well. Shoes, it was coming, eh? It was coming, yeah, it was. I thought we were gonna look good there. Nice weight, perfect. Peel it. I'm gonna go to first. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to go to the first. Yeah, I'm going to go to the I'm going to try and get them both. She played that last time. I don't want to play that same shot. Remember, she hit nose for one. We'll bump hers back. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well. Shoot. Stop curling. She's going to try the double peel. It went. Yeah, and on it this, went. onto this, I believe. If she doesn't make that double peel, then you know what uh, Kathy's going to have as it come around here. It's an interesting decision because if you peel the center line one and think through what Kathy might do, the possibility of having the forefoot open is there. Well, if you, if you peel the center line one, you're always going to have the forefoot in some, in some fashion. Yep. Yeah. First stone for yeah. the Swedish yeah. skip here in this extra end of a 7-7 tie. Yeah. Yeah. Harrison Marmont. She gets some action on the other one. Pretty good yeah. shot. And she'll get the Very good shot. center line Very open. Nice. Get rid of both of them. That's a lovely shot. It was a little risky, but she made it perfectly. It's a very, very big shot. She made them absolutely perfect. If she just jams and exchanges, then there's trouble. She makes it absolutely perfect. She couldn't make it better. Now, you saw that she hasn't played many draws. And and this is where you here. have to decide if you're Canada what to there, force Elizabeth to do. Okay, it just touched it. Just going to tap it back. Can you throw this? Just Brenda through this one. Okay. What are we doing here? Just gonna try and tap it back. Sit right. Just touch it back. To have the shooter stay in the top eight mm -hmm. and the raised stone in the four. And then you play for the double, or do you play the draw? Third shot would belong to Sweden. It's on the edge of the twelve. Way out in the 12, but I think it's a little bit stickier. Yeah. Uh, the weight you threw last time for the tap the up would be good. There's the difference you were talking about, Linda. Same weight would be good. Well, the, the one shot really that up. cost them so big Being was a, an open, open miss is. since then. Straight back. She's had very difficult shots to bring those numbers back. Gotta go. Bomber, Horn. Ah! Here comes Godverson as well. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Drag it all the way. Now it's going to over curl, go, 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 it looks go, go, go. like. Are they gonna catch any part of the stone at all? Go, 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 go. Take it as far go, as they go. can. Block some of the forefoot. And it's uh, over curled. Yeah, and she underthrew it too. Right out of her hand, she said you have to go. Please, that curl, eh? Yeah. Elizabeth doesn't even have to stay as long as she doesn't uh, spill out the side one. She must have got it started because she yelled herself right out of her hand and uh, got to go and she knew she was a little light, I guess. And they got to the curl early. The little biter on the side is going to shoot. Make... For the win, Sweden. 
and a date with Denmark in the final Sunday. Look at the difference how her numbers have crashed 15 percentage points. All she needs is this one and the numbers mean absolutely nothing. nothing. You got it. Harrison. Marmont. Looks pretty good. For the win, Sweden. Catch a corner. And there it is. Sweden and Elizabeth Gustafsson. She'll have a chance for a third world championship. And the comeback ends here in an extra end in Kamloops for Canada. Thank you. Oh, Eight seven, the final score. Sweden and Denmark will play for gold. Canada will play Norway for a bronze medal here at these Ford Worlds. Now it's time for the TSN turning point. Well, Victor, you have to go all the way back, uh, Kathy Boris, to the fourth end, and a hit against the three with her last rock, and she made a great comeback in this game. But this made the score five nothing, and she just about got back. Went an extra end, but this really turned the game around. She did come back to tie it seven all, but Sweden wins it in the extra. A cash donation will be made to the Coaching Association of Canada for the training and development of coaches in amateur sport on behalf of TSN. Sweden will meet Denmark for the Women's Championship of the Ford Worlds here in Kamloops. The 1998 Ford World Curling Championships on TSN are brought to you by Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited. By Karcher, quality cleaning equipment. By Labatt, good things brewing. And by Simonize Car Care Products. If you care, Simonize it. Really, it could have been over after four, but Canada and Borst get a great hit and roll to make it close, and then they lose it in the extra 8-7. Sweden will go on to play for gold, and Linda's with Kathy Borst. Kathy, we really appreciate you joining me. Uh, I know it's tough, but it was a tremendous comeback. Yeah, it was. I'm proud of the girls. They fought hard, and we had... We had a great game to, you know, the first few ends, there was a couple missed shots and we came back and she made a great shot to double peel in the extra. Otherwise, I think we had a good shot to win. It looked in 10 like she actually might slip through the hole and leave you a shot for the win. <laughs> it it uh, hung a long time. I thought we actually, Heather called it. She said she's going through the hole and it just at the very, probably at the top of the house, curled enough just to tick, tick. And get you know one of them out of there but uh, it, was, it was I'm sure she was really worried <laughs> but you know she's she curled great she made some great shots and that's why they're winning this game you've been a tremendous champion you have another game still you have to go down and play the bronze medal uh, we know you'll do well any thoughts on that game it's a little early but I know. <laughs> we're gonna play our hearts out we want a medal here so we're gonna play for it we appreciate all that you've done for us through the Scott tournament of hearts and here and we wish you the best of luck thank you very much Vic and as Canadian champion, we'll look forward to seeing Kathy and her team at the JVC TSN Women's Skins game next December in Thunder Bay. And so it will be Denmark and Sweden for the Women's Championship here at these Ford Worlds. You'll see it on the CBC live at 1.30 Eastern time. That's 10.30 a.m. Pacific. Stay with us now for Sports Desk coming your way on TSN. Our thanks to all the curlers across the country for their cooperation throughout our season. To all the men and women of our crews, wherever we've been, a sincere thank you. And now on behalf of Linda Ray and our entire crew, I'm Vic Roder. Thanks for joining us. Canada's most comprehensive curling coverage is here on TSN.